Good Go! Go! Hi everyone, we're Easy Allies. We are, for the next four hours, putting Gundam models together. Uh, and we're just hanging out. I'm Kyle cool. Bossman. I'm Brad Ells. I'm Ben Moore. I'm Brad Jones. That's Brad Jones. <laughs> Brad Jones. Back. And we are on point today. Let's just get that out of the way. No issues. No issues. No uh, delays. Yeah, Brad, I can give you more space, dude. Look at that shot. Let's even it out. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, I'm going to make a fresh brew. We should oh, talk yeah. about what we're building today, though. That's always the best All right, first Kyle, way to start. start us off. So I'm starting off. I'm kicking off. Kick off. The Crossbone Gundam version Ka. I was asking you about this. You think yeah. it might have not been in an actual anime? Yeah, Chad, you'll have to tell me. Because the one I built last week, I learned the this version uh -huh. of Sandrock. It's not the version that was in Endless Waltz. What happened was... Uh, the, That's the ver Endless Waltz one right there. Yeah. So basically, Endless Waltz had all these sick redesigns, and then they said, hey, you should do those redesigns to the original Gundams of Gundam Wing. So this guy right here, this Sandrock, never existed in Oh, I didn't know they... Ever. That's cool. Yeah, just, I didn't know that. He was just made to look like a cool Gundam model. Cool. Yeah. Uh, confirmed, Crossbones never got an anime. Uh, the Bone Zone. Yep. Yeah. Well, this version. Man, that one looks so cool. Yeah, Endless Waltz one. He's got that purple. The purple stuff. Okay. Brad, go ahead, dude. I'm continuing the construction of Best Gundam, Death Sight Hell, from Endless Waltz. The actual one from Endless Waltz. Not a redesign, not fan fiction. Real deal. Yeah, why is yours a real one? Because I'm smart. I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> I knew what I was buying. Okay. All right. Uh, so, last time I was working on the RX-78. Classic. The classic. The all-time classic. Um, but I got a little excited about Gundam during the break, and I bought two more. <laughs> <laughs> the first... I hear you, dude. Uh, so you know that, that, uh, the outlet place on Satel, that Tokyo outlet? Yes. Yeah. That's I, where I bought one. I was there before. I went there, and I was in a good mood, yeah. and I should not go to this place when I'm in a good mood, because I bought, like, too much stuff. Yeah. yeah. I bought this. I... I have not yet built a Zaku, and Zakus are just design-wise my favorite kind of mobile suits. And look at the box art yeah, on this thing. Yeah, this is the this is the uh, Psycho Zaku from Gundam Thunderbolt, which I've heard a lot of hype about. We haven't gotten an official release of it. I think it's coming out this summer. Gundam if Thunderbolt. I'm, if I'm right, Chad can correct me. Thunderbolt. But yeah, it's it's really cool. I'm actually already like halfway done with it, and I went ahead and did stickers on this one. Can you show off the weapons this Gundam has on its back? Let's make some space yeah. here. Make some space. So this is where we're at oh, right ben, now with dude. this guy. Yeah. The head, though. The head? That's, so but he wasn't last. constructing it in our lab. Actually. Yeah, yeah, that's why. That's, this, why. that's a lab exclusive. I won't break the rules here. Okay. <laughs> but I did, I did break it's the rules It's a lab exclusive. Because yeah. now I feel like you're just kind of like going through the motions for the rest of this guy, you know? It's oh, like, come okay, on, I'll man. Build the legs, Don't know? be rough. So, Kyle, I hear you, but yeah. my understanding of this stream is that we come and we build what we want to build. <laughs> yeah. Build what you want to build. So that's that's what I'm going to do. Build what you want to well build. Well said, Ben. But yeah, I really like this guy. This has been ben, my favorite that is, one that I built. love the gold hoses on it, dude. Yeah. What? I'm most excited about is like look at the weapons on this thing like look at what you put on his back yeah look at this yeah. it's like cloud sword from Avenger yeah and I don't a million know things in it how well this is gonna show up on camera but he's are they all thrusters or like some of these are like torpedo launchers uh we've got baz we got multiple bazookas Dude, we got nice. laser rifles nice this guy's ready for combat this guy's ready for combat um and then I saw <laughs> Noble Gundam do you ever see something and you're just like, well, I can't live without this. Had to buy it. And it's not too expensive. Yeah. I saw this and just bought it on impulse. Yeah, hell yeah. Nice high grade, dude. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And yeah. that's encouraged here. Yeah. Yeah. That kind of behavior. Uh, Gundam Thunderbolt is coming dude. this summer from Right Stuff. Is this the pilot of this Gundam? What, what, sorry, what was that, Kyle? I'm actually, I the really... The Blu-ray is coming this summer. Right. Yeah. Yeah. From Right Stuff. I almost bought the... I think I, I think I pre it. I don't remember. Uh, Corn Fan has a tip because again, this is amateur Gundam construction. We are not professionals. No, we're not. Nail clippers are great for the extra bits. Mm. We call those crisps. A couple crisps. Uh, and Grizz and Kev, thank you so much for eight months. I, I love the exaggeration in chat. Like I really do. This isn't this isn't like a like a troll. I I was just I'm just sitting here and being like, yeah, I bought two Gundams, and yeah. then Chet's like, he bought the whole store. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> what? Just, two. Just, just two. two. just two. It's just two. Dream Goblin, seven months. Uh, before I go make a fresh brew, I want to start off uh, with some warnings. Warnings? About, about Top Coat. 
Okay, so uh, you'll be. Able to, I hope we can see him on close-up cam. God, you are really good at this, Kyle. So uh, you'll see, perhaps, if I hold it back, we're missing the lighting. Dang, um, I need to like flash right. my phone on it. Uh, you'll see bleeding on. on the panel oh, lighting. I'll get you. Oh, you then. know what? It's just not on autofocus. I need to set the close-up cam on autofocus. Spotlight. Um, from the heavens. Do do do. Oh yeah. Do 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 do. do. Archer Farkas. Can we make the um, close-up cam a little bit tighter? Um, Tighten it up. Keep I it tidy. Know. Sure, we can do that. Focus. I want Archer. all Gundam. Less understandable. Less space. humans. Oh, I see. Okay, yeah, we can absolutely get rid of that. Uh, I'm holding down Alt. Can you touch? Yeah, I totally can. There we go. Much better. Oh, nice. Much better. Crop nice. it out. Tight Crop shot. it out. Tight <laughs> shot. Okay. Um. Let's see if you can see that. Yeah, so here Good we go. Good lighting. Um, I can't even see the bleeding. There's bleeding. Autofocus sucks, dude. Yeah, it does. Um, right here. So basically what happened was uh, the marker was still wet when I did my top coat, and it bled all over. Oh, no. And then also you'll notice right here... A Sophie hair dried to the leg of my oh, Gundam. Oh no! Forever. But it's like a personal touch that I like. Oh, it was built in our factory. Brad, I think it was easier to see without the spotlight. Probably. And who's the overlord of our factory? Sophie. 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 Yep. Yeah. yeah, Sophie's the overlord. So yeah, I got a little kicked on Sophie hair for all time on this poor guy. Harry Gundam. Uh, <laughs> did, did you guys see the Sophie tweet from yesterday? She forgot how to sit. sit? She forgot how to Absolutely. sit. Oh, it was so good. Got to retweet that right now. <laughs> retweet that right now. The only... I think the only reason I still have a Twitter is, is for moments like this. Moments Look at that. Like Look at yes, that. Yes, adorable. Brad, I feel bad. I this forgot how to share. Close-up cam's kind of crowding you right now. Oh, that's okay. We can put it like right I'm good. here, I guess. I'm just staring at these in this vault version of Gundams. They're all so good. They're all good. They're all good. All these are good. All f all of those are good. They're good. You know what? I'm going to say they're incredible. He's not holding his Gatling gun, so that kind of makes me sad. I forget the name of this one. Oh, the dragon one? Yeah, the dragon Yeah, I do one. forget what it's called. Wu Fei's. What a punk. He's got the he double was. one in this. Yeah, he was. I was so it's angry. It's all about that duo, duo lifestyle. But I like the Wing Zeroes on here, too. Gotta get some soda. Alright, we're getting a brew going. Just remember that. Okay, I'll just wait for the brew, then. Just waiting on the brew. Keep it cool, man. Waiting on the brew. Oh, these are gonna be fun to do. The wings. Oh, yeah! yeah. Those oh, are gonna be that's great. The, that's a good grid, Brad. Good, those are good gonna be grid, good. Brad. Alright. Okay, let's get back on track. I'm trying to remember where I left off. Right, yeah, that, that moment. Like, I haven't worked on this thing for a week cool. and a half. It's like, can you imagine painting this just a little pilot? Yeah. How crazy is that? Like, on the box, some maniac painted it, they show it. Like, that's the kind of guy from Toy Story 2 that fixes the Woody doll. With, like, the magnifying glass. Just trying to make the world a better place, one... Pilot like, painting at a like time. Look how cool that could look. Yeah. It, from this to that. Yeah. But it requires like look at how small like, it is. I it need requires a master specific hands. tools for you, this. Yeah. yeah. Right. You need, I don't have the. You need to go to college yeah. to learn how to. do I don't that. have the ability yeah. to do that. Uh huh. It's too. Oh my god, dude! Look at all these sick pieces. Like, this can be a good moment. You know, Brad. I was saying that the wings are the best grid. That is. Like that's, that's gonna be the best one. That's gonna be special. When you have a grid just for the energy. The laser beam. Special occasion. We're topping off. So good. The prey coffee. The prey coffee. Prey how, coffee. how is the prey coffee? What's the verdict? I think it's like normal. It's normal coffee. I think it's just normal. It's normal. normal coffee. Not much to say about it. Okay. All right. Chest. All right. Okay. I had left off a good spot. The chest. That's right. Good. 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 Dude, bang. What's up? I feel like this guy should be the star of close-up cam right now. All right. This. No. 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 Cop. Like, I'm very happy with this Gundam. This yeah. is my best Gundam so far. Yeah. Yours is... Yours is actually complete, though. Yours... Like, I think we could put you on the box. I think no, we could I'm put you on the dude, box. No, I'm telling you, it's got a Sophie hair on it, and it bled through. No, it's... The detailing is on point. Kyle, I think you're the least amateur out of us, though. 
I do, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So We're amateurs, amateur. but I'm at least, like, level... Like, Sophie's team captain and your yeah. assistant captain. But okay. I like this, Kyle. I like seeing this, because what it makes me do is... I don't just build the Gundams and don't think about it. Now I'm trying to build more awesome Gundams because I see that was a very it can be done. very anime thing to say. Was it? Yeah. <laughs> was it a very, I didn't mean for it to be. Mm, I think I, we can put close up cam like because I feel like it's invading your space now, Ben. Yeah, we're back. We're back on me and my nose hairs. So I'm going to um, maybe like put it just here. Does that work? There we go. Again, we're out of the lighting. It here. looks it looks kind of imposing though, that way. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. There we go. Okay. Cool. So now we all have space in front of us. Yeah, I gotta move this box, dude. Cool. Okay. Opening a new box today. Here we go, baby. Crossbone. Here we got Grundum Crossbone. Grundum. So this is from 2006, which seems so modern to me, but that was a long, was a long time, time ago. What anime won the EZA anime poll? Last time I checked, it was a tie. Do you know, Ben? Uh, Konosuba has officially won. Last time we looked at it, it, it won by one vote. Right. And I was and like, we, let's just do it. Yeah, we kind of had to just make, make a decision. And yeah. I've already started it. Which we have not... Communicate on our Patreon yet, then we need to do that. It's but, official. Konosuba. It's official. Yep. Watch Konosuba. It now. It'll be fun. It'll be a fun episode. Yep. I'm excited about it. Oh, yeah. I see some feet pieces. Feels good. Okay. Feels weird. Like, I'm getting to the head spot. I'm just going to have to skip that whole section. Take a hike. Oh, okay. G one six G one seven. I have to say, I kind of like the idea. I feel bad about doing the head, but I kind of like the idea of starting a Gundam off stream and then being able to finish it on sure. stream, so yeah. stream can fin see the finished product. We like never finish. We them never on finish them, and so that's kind of nice. Yeah, uh, my unicorn I will finish off stream sometime. Never when I get a chance. Uh, yes, I uh, just posted a new Patreon goal last night. Whoa! For a web series. Yeah. Box Peak. Kyle, okay, what's Box Peak? Box Peak is uh, it's basically an animated series, but they're all puppets. They're all paper puppets, two D paper puppets, um, taking place in a world, Brad, like Yu Gi Oh, like Beyblade, mm -hmm. just one of these animated shows that's designed to sell a game. Mm -hmm. So everyone in this world. This fictional world loves this game, irrationally. Everyone loves it as much as we love all sports in the current. Yeah, world it's like a national pastime. So. Yes, and so I think that's such a dumb idea. Uh, and so, Box Peak is the world of Box Peak is um the world of Box Peak. Sorry, the game of Box Peak is it's two people, two mm -hmm, competitors. Mm -hmm. They each climb into a box, mm -hmm. and there are two ways to win, Brad. One, you peek at your opponent's box for four seconds. I thought it was three. It's four. Oh, change the rules. Or you could win by catching your opponent peeking at you. Just one peek? Just one peek, dude. Is there a ref? Oh, no, you get to peek as much as you want. There is no, a no, 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 but if they catch you, oh, you get the if, you, if they catch you, you're out. Yep. Is there a ref? There is a ref. Okay. You know what I like, Kyle, is... <laughs> You could get the other eight allies yeah. to make a hundred shows. All of us individually make a hundred shows. Uh -huh. So we have eight hundred shows. I don't think in any one of those we would say like Yu-Gi-Oh or like Beyblade. Sure. And I like that. That's the that's where the I secret went, sauce. Where I went first. That's where you went first. <laughs> yep. Show one. <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh and Blade, Beyblade. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. Uh, so that's a 44k stretch goal for our Patreon at patreon.com slash easy allies. It'll be cool. Will there be ancient Egyptian artifacts in it? I don't think so, dude. Okay. I don't think I'm going that way. By the way, I got a cape on this guy. Fabric. Ooh. Good stuff. Yeah, man. I don't think I'm going to keep it. It looks a little chintzy to me. 
Does it, does he wear the cape in anything? Yeah, he was he was wearing a cape on the box for in some shots. Okay, well you gotta you gotta at least bust out the cape a little bit. Okay. Cause that wouldn't be right. Bust out the cape. Bust it out. There we go. G one. Ooh, red pieces. Oh yeah, those, the cape looks kind of cool. Yeah, that looks sick, dude. Looks like a wandering samurai. Yeah. Yeah, maybe I'll go with cape. Speaking of samurais, Ben. Yeah. Well, probably I see fourteen. Yeah. Coming up. It is coming up. Can you guess what class Ben Moore is going to play, Kyle? So I'm guessing Samurai. Nope. What? Red Mage. Red Mage. Ben wants to rock that feathered cap. I... And you know what? Yeah. That's an awesome thing. I respect it, and I can't wait to see Ben Moore shredding as a Red Mage. Shredding I really... I, wizards are always my favorite. Like, if I were to make a D&D character, I'd make a wizard. Mm -hmm. Um... But the way Final Fantasy depicts mages is so great. Like you mentioned, the feathered cat. It's ten out of ten. I love always. it. Always. Oh, the black mage hat. Oh, it's so yeah. good. Yeah, it's I, always good. I think I like Final Fantasy fourteen so much just because I'm in love with how awesome my mages look. That's like it. you feel like you look That's good it. most of the time. You, you do. Know? You do. You feel like you look good most most of the most time. time. It's it's nice. Whereas like <laughs> in World of Warcraft, I remember like, in the early days especially. Not so much now. Like, do you remember knows. AQ gear? You look yeah. Like a, a you, worse version of a Power Ranger. Yeah, you look like an abomination with yeah. all this mishmash stuff. Of course, that's not true today. But uh, I feel like we never show off the instructions, and I wanted to show something oh, cool yeah. that's unique to this one. Is that for each part that you're building, it gives you the context on the Gundam itself of where it is. So if you're building the torso, it has him lying down on his back. It's like that's where the torso is. And then you're building these pieces. I kind of like that. I really cool. love the front of that uh, manual. Yeah, you know what I'm scared of? I'm scared that it wants me to paint those red lines, and those red lines are so dope. I can't paint that. You can paint it. Uh, blue mage you is can so paint weird. It. Uh, yes, blue Ooh, mages are weird. I do have a red sharpie. I don't but have a red Gundam marker. Think about how sharpie. blue mages look in Final Fantasy XI. Yeah, they definitely look unique. Ah. And they stand out. Fresh bruise, who wants one? Uh, why don't you give me one, Kyle? Nice, Ben. Yeah, I would love one. Thank there you, Kyle. Oh, there we go. Fresh brews around the house. I'm excited for Damiani to carry us. I'm excited and nervous. Why? Because, like, right now where Damiani's at in Final Fantasy XIV, you know, we're kind of waiting on Stormblood. Mm-hmm. He's seen it all. Mm -hmm. He's done it all. Mm -hmm. We can do stuff. Like, when Stormblood comes out, I'm worried that a switch is going to be flipped. Oh, he's going to drop you. Ben right, Moore. yeah, exactly. Like, he's just going to drop us like five and be like, sorry, man. <sighs> I got a world to save. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Waiting on a world to save. Okay. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Ooh, these crisps. <laughs> Thank you. No problem. No ben, I'm confident Domani will just be done with it by the time we even start. Yeah. Just, he'll be done. He's already done with it. Like, we'll be playing day one, but he'll already be done. What? Doesn't that suck, though? And it's like, we, we're we going to take breaks, you know, to sleep and eat. He won't. He's going to be living in that world, Ben. Oh, Bloodworth's in chat. Blood, it took us a long time to get a clean intro. Look out for it. I thought he was in there. Oh, was he already in chat? I thought he was earlier. Oh, okay. Brad, mm -hmm. that first day, mm -hmm. if we can, mm -hmm. if we can, mm -hmm. let's go hard, man. I'll go hard for one day. I'm going to get a big bag of almonds, <laughs> a 12-pack of Coke Zero. Oh, no. Sit down. Twelve. I'm talking 12 hours. Go hard. Okay. Yeah, I can do that. Like, minimal break. Here's the thing, though. Got to get Hubert. Oh, absolutely. Because we need a Cause tank. They, Cause, cause Huber, right? He's he's the wind, right? He mm -hmm. makes he he rejuvenates you. Yeah. When you're starting to lag, you know, just yells in your ear a little bit, and you're back. You're good to go. <laughs> yeah. Huber is the wind. You are the wind. You are the wind. Sounds like an anime. I really want to talk to Huber about Destiny too. Yeah. That's what I want to do. Uh, if I could do more easy a promo, uh, just before we started the stream. Huber and Jones sat down on the couch to talk about what they yeah. saw about Destiny 2. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, that must be nice. <laughs> uh, ben, I will also be playing on PC. I saw yeah. you say that earlier. I will be will on you? PC. Will you? Yeah. Okay. Can I, I want to play PC, I'm being, but I feel like the allies dude, will play PS4. Uncapped frame rate. Okay. Got me mouse and keyboard. Yeah. 
I know. Like, Battleman. I'm just saying, think I don't of, know if you guys think know. Think of the skins that will be available no. from owning it in other games. Overwatch skins. You no. will get a Destiny character in Heroes of the Storm. Wait. It's gonna happen. Wait, that's such a good idea. Brad. Who's gonna get the Destiny skin? Brad, they would not do that and in, in lock out the console. So I bet they would do it for Overwatch on console as well. What? Skins? Of course. Skins, yeah, yeah, absolutely. PC sucks? That's just wrong. I, I don't even know. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know that's how to just, make that more. That's just straight up wrong. Listen, I hate PCs, and I would never say PC sucks. See, that I can understand. Yeah. I've got, I've got this weird thing right now where... When I have an SD card plugged into my PC mm -hmm. and I reboot it, yeah, the mouse and key it won't recognize the mouse and keyboard. <laughs> yeah, and exactly, Ben. Exactly. Why does Damn, that happen? That sucks. Why does that happen? Why do I have to? It's weird. PC the most problems for sure, but when it's working, nothing like it. Oh yeah, it's beautiful. I've just never had that feeling. I was sitting there playing oh, no. Cosmic Star Heroine. It's right there. On PC? It's great. Yeah, I mean, you can also play it on consoles, so it's probably not the best. I was playing Quake Champions. Nice. Having a there, ball. We oh, there we go. There we go. Let's, <laughs> let's do something that you can only get on the PC. Make it growl. Make it growl. Dude. Make it growl. <laughs> <laughs> Growl with. <laughs> you gonna play it on PC? Yeah, I'm gonna make it grow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gotta use that. Gotta use that. that. Correct. So let me look at the source material. To make sure that is correct. Yeah, big box picture. You guys got to watch My Hero Academia. On episode two. Whoa, really? Yep. Just got to do a bunch of work. Yeah, I got to be honest. <laughs> I put it on as a fall asleep show. You know what else was a fall asleep show that's now an awake show? Ooh. Yu Yu Hakusho. Nice. Dude, you're watching yes. it? Yeah, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Good show. Excellent. That was correct. I have not watched Yu Yu Hakusho since it was on Toonami. Toonami, yeah. But... I have every... I feel like it just completely holds up. Yep. I have no doubts. Uh, Michael Huber's a big fan of that show. I'm really? worried yeah. Outlaw Star doesn't big... hold up. Outlaw Star! Because I loved it. I loved it so yeah. much back in the day. But I always thought it was so cool, like, the ammunition rounds he had for his gun that were different. Yep. Like, the big Mega Man blast also and just stuff. that ship. Oh, yeah. The ship, yep. Good times. Ben, good thing we got a show where we can talk about stuff like this. I know. I mean, let's be real. We talk about it everywhere. Uh, Kyle, do you have an interest in My Hero Academia? Uh, I like the animation. Uh, yeah. You know, but it's like it's tough for me to get into like immediately on the surface level a show about like kids going to school. Hmm. So I'll like I'll need it. I'll need it to get to the tournament. That's usually when I get into there. The it series. is. Yeah, the tournament. The turning points for Kyle. It, tell me, there's a tournament in My Hero Academia. There's got to be. I right think. Chat. I mean, like I said, only two episodes in. Yeah. Uh, this is how I would describe my brief experience with My Hero Academia so far. Yeah. If you read what it's about, it sounds like the most typical thing ever. Yeah. But the execution is what saves it. All right. And it says tournament season two. So I'm in. I'm in. Okay. For, I'm in for season two, everybody. Oh, sick little red things. Dude, like Brad, close up. Uh, close up cam's too far away. Oh now, no. All right. I'll, we should just bring closer. This is putting these like little sick vents. Yeah. The sick vents. Unique pieces of plastic. That's not yeah. a sticker. And it's like a different color. It's the first time. Okay, here we go. Check out these sick little like red vents we put in chat. Nice. The Let's first red back. of the Gundam. Let's the first get closer into the light. Oh my god. Dude, it's just so shadowy. Yeah, it's very shadowy. Did you guys there we already go. do there the uh, Injustice will play through? No. It's tomorrow at 2. Okay, cool. Will yeah. you be there? No. Oh. I won't. I won't be there. But it's happening. Um, it's you and Huber for sure, right? right? I think it's honestly just going to be the two of us. So twice now. You guys have been nailing with the full playthroughs. Nailing those full playthroughs. Week by week. Stay up. It reminds me of the good old days. Every Friday, dude. Yeah. Full playthrough full Friday. Full playthrough Friday. 
day by day. Remember it took us six months to beat Final Fantasy Seven. Yeah, that was the dream. Time. That was the dream. I've been missing Max big time, dude. Yeah, Max. He was there for a lot of those. He yeah, was he there was. for the legendary um, Monopoly stream. Yeah. It was just you guys, mm -hmm. the first one. But yeah, he was in Final Fantasy for a bit, too. Yeah. Good old Max. I feel like he watched Seinfeld on his desk a lot. That was him? I think it was him. Whoa. I need to get into the Injustice 2 guild. Is it full? Or do you just need the code? Ask Huber for the code. Yeah, I, be I believe Huber said the guild was full. Ouch. Uh, but somebody else, another person, uh, made an uneasy alliance guild. Mm -hmm. So we could we could have multiple guilds. And I bet that guild's going to be better than the Huber guild. Damn. Oh, 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 oh damn. Huber's going to give up on Injustice too. Well, well he's going to have right. to move on to other... I mean, right now, yeah. I think Huber is in Destiny Land. He's yeah. in Destiny Land. He's in Destiny Land. That's okay. Oh, Destiny Land... This is going to be fun when it comes it back again. No, absolutely. It's going to be fun. That was not a slam on anybody yeah, or anything. I was just thinking about it, though. Yeah. You know? It's going to be, be fun. fun. I totally agree with you. Play with our buds. It's, gonna be, it's a good year for gaming, man. It is. It's just going to It's just gonna keep on giving. It is. It's just It's just absolutely absurd. Then more. I have to give you props real quick. Oh, boy. For the Xenoblade streams, dude. Thank Going you. Going the distance. Yeah, I... It's like six hours yesterday? You're Whoa. a madman. That's really cool, man. Honestly, like, the reason why I settled on doing two-hour streams mm -hmm. is because of one game, Star Ocean Integrity and Faithlessness, <laughs> because I'd committed to a full playthrough of that, <laughs> and I did, like, back-to-back -back eight-hour streams, and I said, I hate this. Yeah. I never want to do this again. Like, I don't want... If I'm going to stream, I want to enjoy it, and I want to feel good. And I was like, okay, so to help with that, I'm going to limit streams to two hours. And so I got a little bit nervous when we started doing the six hours Xenoblade streams, and I was like, is, this, is this going is this to wear on me? Is this a decision? Yeah. Fastest streams of my Turns life. Turns out, yeah. That game... Ben, you always look like you're having a good time when I, I see you playing I, that game. I love it so much, I don't want it to be over. Like, we have... I always get a little bit nervous because I... I tend to mess around a lot. Just I either get lost or I'm doing a bunch of side quests it's just organic, dude. or looking at uh, menus and stuff. And I do want to keep the stream moving <laughs> somewhat, but I also don't want it to end. Mm -hmm. I want to play Xenoblade forever, and so yeah. Uh, someone asked about Persona Five stream. I was thinking about streaming some of New Game Plus. Nice. Dude, at the that'd beginning be of it. Can you all tell me who they follow to get that octopus? I think that's a general one now. Oh, I think I've seen like a lot of people use it. I think it is. Okay. I've seen it a lot, and I just figured it's some super popular streamer. Or it could be, but I just see a lot of people using it. It's like a new Twitch meme, I guess. I just see it everywhere. Okay. I was watching somebody two nights ago, and the entire chat was just blue. Blue. blue it's <laughs> not a bad meme. Blue, 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 blue. Yeah, it's, it's all right. I'm yeah, it's new in general. So, yeah. so Twitch said we need, we we need, need this yeah. on every stream. Yeah. Okay. Okay, Twitch, that's your call. So it's fine. We're here because of you. If I look up a chat and it's just yeah, I'm cool with that. Fine. A nine, ten. Ben, as you know, yeah, I finished Persona Five. Mm -hmm. Just want to play again. Whoa, yeah. just want to play again. That's dude. that's exactly how I felt. Just want to keep going. To, I just wanted to play again. It's just so fun. It's taxing though on the mind. It could be a taxing game. Taxing on the mind. Like, I was talking to Ian about this. Sure. Because he thinks he might not play anymore, and, and he, but he loves playing a ton on Zelda. Mm -hmm. And I was like, well, Zelda might just be an easier play, man. You're just going through the wild. Yes. Uh, Brad, do you know what's been a little taxing on the mind? What's been taxing on the mind? Uh, Fire Emblem Echoes. Oh, no. No, it's good. It's good. I, good taxing? I, good taxing. Okay. It's a good taxing. Okay, okay. But there's a difficulty spike sort of towards the end mm -hmm. of the third act. Where it's just like we're not we're not messing around anymore. Well, like, they just pe it people up. are gonna die. You playing on normal? Playing on normal, dude. Yeah. Now I'm nervous. Um, playing on normal with classic. Uh, classic. I'll tell you something, Ben. Set. I'm not scared to let some units die. I'll totally let it happen. That's just the way it goes, baby. Yeah. Kyle, Sunrise, sunset. I thought that, but I was thinking about my um, awakening and birthright playthroughs. Yeah. Where my army relied on some units a lot 
and the other units less so. Yeah. In Echoes, I rely on all of my units. Whoa, like all of my dude. units are really, really oh, useful. Nice. And I, it's because it's because of a lot of things. It's because of these enemies called Cantors that like basically infinitely summon dudes until you kill them. Cantor, oh. Cantor. Uh, there's that. And then also the weapon triangle being gone, I think. Uh, requires you to uh, have a have a uh, broader army. Dear user X, just subscribe for eight months in a row. Thank you. You're a kid. You're a squid now. Dear user, that's um, gonna be high for Splatoon. I'm picking that up on uh, the way home. So nice, dude. Wait, the first one? The Valentia. Oh. Um. So I can Splatoon. Yeah. <laughs> it starts. It starts out a little slow. Uh huh. It's gotten to the point where there are some of those characters that I. Quite like. Quite love. Quite like. A lot. Full play through the following Sun Crisis Core Dirge with you guys before Sun Remake comes out. That was the original goal we had way back at GT, because Kyle has never seen Crisis Core. He doesn't know what goes on it, really. No, I have a general idea. I barely know who Zack is. You barely know who Zack is. Crisis Core is the best thing to come out of the FF7 compilation. Zack's very cool. Zach, I love Zack. Zack Zach is cool. Makes a sweet appearance in uh, Birth by Sleep also. Subs yeah. aren't showing up on screen. It's like, oh, I mean, I'm on it. Exactly. Uh, they were doing... Brad! Oh, why didn't I tell you this? Oh, okay, no, no, no. so they're do, do you know what RPG Limit Break is? Yes, I was yeah. watching it. Yes, so last night they were doing this Kingdom Hearts block where they were beating the game's level one on proud mo mode, and it was fascinating. Really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, proud or critical? They were doing level one proud, if okay. I remember correctly. Good stuff, dude. Yeah, yeah that stuff's was, always super it cool. It was tense. Like, everything two-shot at Yeah, me. it ain't no joke, dude. It ain't no joke. It ain't no joke. I got feathers in my hat, and it ain't no joke. Wait, a red mage? Yep. Here we go. A10. I asked for one thing for my birthday. Oh. Because I... Wait, when was your birthday? My oh, my birthday's next month. Oh, okay. okay. What's the date? What day is your actual birthday? I don't. Uh, I shouldn't have. Said, I don't like telling people the date of my birthday. Yeah, well, you don't have to. You don't is have it, to. Don't. You don't have to. You guys, me, you guys it told stresses me, me out. You really, guys tell me off. Yeah, 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 yeah. It stresses me out. Same, same, same. Yeah, I don't. Okay. I don't want people to know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I asked for Fire Emblem Path of Radiance. Okay. Uh, because apparently that has the best story of any Fire Emblem game. Really? And I never had a chance to play it. And it's really hard to get a copy of. Is that the GameCube so, one? Yeah, that is the GameCube one. I've got Radiant... It's super rare, yeah? Yeah, it's super rare. Uh, it goes between like $80 and $90 okay. on, on eBay, so it's expensive. Um, I've got Radiant Dawn, but I don't want to play Radiant Dawn until I play through... Oh, it was Radiant Dawn, the Wii one? The Wii one, yeah. Okay. Well, the good thing is... Or at least a backup plan. If you can't acquire it for some reason, Dom Annie has it, so you can at least Dom borrow it. But I know Ben wants to own it, you know? Yeah. I don't like borrowing things because oh, we're talking yeah. about stuff that stresses us out. It's yeah. not because I don't, like, trust other people. It's just that when you borrow something, you kind of, it's, it's just another thing that's on your mind. Like, oh man, I need to give that back to them. I don't want to forget. I don't want to, like, sure. accidentally spill coffee on it or something. Spill coffee. So that way, if I get my own copy of Path of Radiance, sure. you know, like, I'm sure. No worries. I'm sure Bloodworth has like an immaculate copy of Path of Radiance. Oh, he you does. bet. He's you offering bet. it in chat. Right yeah, now. I'm sure. I'm sure it is like in pristine condition. Like, if you didn't know it, but if you borrow never it, been touch. If I borrow it, just take a few extra steps. Like, put it in a bag. Just put it in a plastic bag right. or something. Just do that. Right. But then, but then it's but that whole process, man. It's just, it's a thing that you get the bag out. You slide it in. You're done, man. Okay. And you know it's safe. But it's up to you. You you live how you want to live, right? I just thought it'd be a cool birthday gift. Treat yourself, dude. That's all. That's all I want. Don't need anything else. <clears throat> Watch you get like five copies of it sent to you. No, <laughs> don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Oh man. It is. We have the best community. Sure do. No question, dude. And they're just they're just constantly challenging us to broaden our horizons. They give us stuff because they want mm -hmm. to see us enjoy it. And I think that's the coolest thing. I'm just happy I'm moving on in here now. Yeah. Because I get tons of people telling me to play that game. It's happening. Things are happening. Things are happening.
You know what's happening this year for me too? Kiwami. Purchasing that immediately. Dude, Yakuza. you yeah. in for the full, play, full playthrough? We, this just get, we just sweetened the pot. So we, the pot. we're doing a full playthrough with myself, Michael Huber, and Bradley Ellis? Does um progress Sweet. carry over? Triangle I mean, attack. I guess two is, is on PS2. Yeah, yeah, might as well just do it with you guys. Yeah, absolutely. I might as well do it with two Yakuza's themselves and just enjoy it. Yeah. I'm going to become the dragon. You're going to become the dragon. I think that's how it goes. It's not easy. I'm sure it's not. Like, is being a dragon easy then? Uh, like when you earn the title of Dragon of Iowa. It very much surprises people if they happen to get a glimpse of my full back deck too. They they take a look at me. Mm -hmm. They take a look at how I present myself, and yeah. then they see the full back tattoo, and they're just like, "I, mean, I did not expect." I didn't that. see it from you until like a full year. I right. feel like of knowing you. Right, and like our relationship changed after yeah. you saw that back tattoo. Yeah, it yeah. sure did. <laughs> it's not just fun and games anymore. No, it's a little. Uh, <laughs> There's a more, dragon a on more your serious, back. Little more serious, a little more, a little less, a little more uncomfortable now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, from fear. From from fear. This is, this is fun. Gundam. Gundam. Oh, Kyle. Yes. Uh, just thinking about future easy anime polls, people really want us to do a sports anime poll, which I think is a good idea. I shield. Um, and I want to do a full Gundam one. Oh, and boy. I think you would be a perfect fit for that if you're down. Yeah. Yeah. Will they vote on a particular Gundam series for us to talk about? Well, I thought there would be multiple ways that we could handle it. Mm -hmm. We could make a poll with every Gundam. Yep. And then whatever wins, wins. Uh, we could limit it to things that we're intentionally interested in. Like three to five options that we're intentionally interested in. Or we could just pick. Those are the three ways that we can handle it. That I, that I envision. Uh, the only reason I don't like picking is because of the backlash to whatever you do pick will be the worst thing you could have picked. <laughs> whatever we pick? Whatever you pick whatever we make pick. so many people unhappy. Sure. It's a good point. I was so confused by this part. What? There's no right answer. Whoa, dude. Whoa, dude. Dude, bro. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. This is quite the sensation. That freaks me out. All right. <laughs> Kyle, I did Pump not... Breaks. This feeling. I, so unique. I did not have a chance to check out your Four Points stream. Yeah. And I keep seeing it, like ads for it. Okay, give I us the scoop. I have, yeah, I haven't played my PSVR in a long time. Is yeah. it any good? Is it worth it? Yeah. You should, I should just let you borrow it, dude. All right. I mean, it's like GTs. Sorry, really got to take advantage of this. <laughs> it's easy A's. It's so yours. it's not like it's yours. you're borrowing it from me. You know right. what I mean? You're borrowing right. it from it's, us. It's yours. It's yours. Once it go home with you, it's yours. No, no. I don't want to keep it. It's a big gun. <laughs> it takes a lot There's of space. There's a big gun in my house now that I don't want. A big plastic dumb <laughs> foam ball at the end. Um, it's cool. It's very, very cool. Don't lie to me, Cal. Cal, what? Oh! That's actually a really good suggestion from Tishan Warrior. Um, for the group stream, the Star Trek Yep. Oh, yeah. Game. Yeah, I think we've talked about that. Yeah, we'll put it up for a vote. All right. For you're, sure. you're on top of it. We're on top of it. He's on top of it. Blood's on top of it. Blood after the codes. Dude, blood is always on top of it. Yeah. Sleuthing. Sleuthing for codes. What if blood just sends an email that says code when? To like a <laughs> That's publisher. A That's code a... when? Yeah. 80% of what Bloodworth does, code when? Uh, when? 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 When's the code? Building HG Helmviga Reinka. Reinka. Oh, yeah, there we go, baby. Uh, so, you know, I love when people send me tweets of their Gundams, pictures yes. of their Gundams. Yes. Uh, I didn't realize how good Iron Blooded Orphans have gotten. Dude, I want to watch that. I want to watch uh, it. Now I do. Now I've seen all these designs. Yeah. Well, you're, you're totally right because I feel like just very loosely following the conversations, I feel yeah. I, like early on. The response to Iron Blood, Blood Orphans was pretty lukewarm. Yeah. It's definitely heated up. Yeah. For sure. It's found its rhythm. All right, baby. Moving on the arms now. My impression of it from the early episodes was it's just like this one weird Gundam 
just wrecks normal looking robots for like the first ten episodes. Mm -hmm. Just a bunch of normal robots show up and he beats them up and that's the episode. This is my yard. But now I'm seeing all these sick Gundams, like designs you've never even seen before. That's all I need. I love really weird, Gundams. unique Gundams. Mm -hmm. uh, like, G Gundam's super funny to me because the Gundams are so weird in it. Yeah. I wish they would make Master Grades of those guys, the weirdos. They don't have any like, Master Grades of that? The Master Grades you are like, like the main ones? They're the normal ones, yeah. The Master Grades for G Gundam is all like the uh, glowing hand and the, the uh, ninja one. What? I forgot to tell you. What? And I should have brought it. Uh, that, 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 uh, that Japanese outlet where I bought the Psycho Zaku, yes. they had this sick little launch statue that I bought. Oh, that's that so I couldn't, cool. That I couldn't resist. That I could not resist. What a cool she character had... to buy a statue of. Which version is she in? It's, it's just Dragon Ball launch. But I mean, is she happy or angry? Blue hair or yellow hair? She's blue hair. Oh, okay. She's blue hair. Nice. Best launch. Man, I haven't watched Dragon Ball, the original one, in so long. It's I need to check this out again. Now. I have the entire fun. first season on VHS, though. Kelf lost a piece. We'll send you our... our oh, dude, vibes. I'm sorry, Kelf. I feel, I feel you, man. There. Sending you our vibes. Beyond Human Games. Subscribe for three months in a row. Thank you so much. Beyond Welcome Human back. Games. Welcome back. Beyond Human Imagination. Kyle, those rap rabbit concepts, though. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's all they said. Oh, okay. Yeah, the art's good. Um, the reason I bring up the launch statue is because I feel like I'm slipping a bit. I had reached a good place where I just completely stopped buying Amiibo. But then mm -hmm. they come out with these these Bayonetta and Cloud Amiibos and Corrin, and I want... Yeah, it's and like, I know you bought those Cloud ones. Uh, yeah, and now they've got this, this, which a lot of people keep sending me, this really sick Futaba statue, who's my favorite character in that game. And I just, I feel like I'm entering a dark place that that could be harmful. Were you surprised by my pick for my favorite character when I told you? I was very surprised by your pick for your favorite character. Yes. Might be spoilers to say who it is. Whoa. Me. I don't know. What is this? What are we Persona 5. Sorry. Favorite characters. Why would you we spoiler, did. why would your favorite character be a spoiler? I don't know. Like, what do you think, Ben? I don't think it is, but... For the reasons why... Okay. They're my favorite. I cannot disclose. Wow. Uh, Futaba, top tier, though. Of course. Disclose. Yeah, favorite character. Futaba, Makoto, Sojuro. Uh, it's, uh, not fourth, it's not Haru. Fourth, Yusuke. It's not Haru. It might be... Uh, one not expected. This is insane. But let's give a quick shout-out to Sojuro. Let's give a quick shout out to Sojuro. You know, he's a 10 out of 10. He is a 10 out of 10. He's a 10 out of 10. I thought that's who you were going to pick. No. Oh, one of my favorite. Love that guy, though. Love Sojuro. That prickly old jerk just worms his way into your heart. Love him. Uh, Big fan. Someone asked if Box Peak will be skits or a narrative, and it will definitely be a narrative. It will definitely tell a story. Give me that Bosman narrative. Yeah, I don't, I don't like skits. <laughs> but you love bits. Yes. I remember having a conversation with this about you. Mm -hmm. That was, was about sketches and skits. And I was asking you what the difference was. Yeah. And I still don't know. You know, dude. I don't. You know. Can you explain point. to me again in the audience? Yeah. Kind of. Okay. Because um, that's how it sounded when you explained it to me the first time. I was like, what? Skits are just. Um. So sketch is like a sketch is kind of like it takes place in a, in a in a situation. It is a narrative. It is targeting a thing that you want to communicate and uh, like with a message in it or something. Not necessarily a message, uh, but yeah, everything on SNL is a sketch because it's written out, it's scripted. It's it has this arc and mm -hmm. heightening and characters and things like that. Uh, skit is like a bunch of Boy Scouts around the campfire. Uh, going like, there's three little bears in the, the empty chair. There's three little bears in the empty chair. There's one, there's two, there's three little bears. There's three little bears in the empty chair. Can, can't they That's cross over, though? They have can both abs things? Absolutely, they can cross so over. So it's a blurry line. It's a blurry, a okay. blurry line. Yep. So it's easy to get it confused, but if you yep. study the craft enough, you can point it out. Yeah. Interesting. 
Uh, there's a really bad old show called Studio 60 on Sunshine Strip, uh, Sunset Strip, Studio 60. Okay. Aaron Sorkin, where uh, there's a somebody goes like, don't you do skits? And what's really funny about Studio 60 is it's a show where it pretends like SNL is the most important thing in the world. It's like Box Peak, but in this universe, it's SNL. Mm -hmm. It's the most important thing in the world. And this guy gets really mad. He goes, we don't do skits. Skits is when the football players dress up like cheerleaders at the dance. Oh, my. What we do is sketch. <laughs> oh, my God. So that was that's what Studio 6... That's the difference. Gotcha. Just watch that Have scene. you ever done anything at... Like that place or anything like that? I know, you, I know you've had some activity. Studio 60 is fake. It's a dumb fake show. <coughs> but I would think there would be something like weird like that in LA. What? Like Where a, just like, like a weird SNL? like inside joke and like a whole what? skit sketch thing. No, what is skit sketches, man? Like you mean with like the little boy scouts around the campfire? <sighs> Never mind, dude. Okay. To write this out. <laughs> skit sketch bits skit sketch bitch are you still doing stuff like that dude no man i'm off my horse no oh, dude i'm off the horse we why? got graduated why we got graduated dude oh you gotta do it for the love man do it for the love do it for the love do, do. i still have something i look forward to every week even when it's bad wait really yeah i didn't know that about you ben yeah ben it's... loves comedy since the start of 2017, I haven't missed a week. Wow. That's fascinating to me. Yeah. Uh, have you... Are you caught up? I'm kind of caught up. I, I like, caught half watched a bunch of episodes. Did you see the skit? Oh! Sketch. Sketch. I'm sorry, Kyle. I'm so sorry. Uh, did you see the sketch with Chris Pine and uh, the, the one where they're, like, staking out the apartment? I love that sketch they're so much. They're staking it they're out. They're staking it out. Uh, there, there's like this gun dealer that these two. Yes. Yeah, yeah I yeah, love yeah. that sketch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm hmm. You know what's a, like a really important, like funny part to that sketch to me is where they say, no, no, it's nothing sexual. <laughs> it's just kind of like a just a joyful boy type of thing. Yeah. Like that was so funny. Yep. To me. My favorite line yeah. uh, is. They seem to know that it's silly, sir. Yeah. 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 That's what made it. It's hot today, boys. It's hot. I might it have to turn hot. on the fan. I'm turning it on. It's too much. How are you guys wearing hoodies right now, man? It's too high. What? It's too high. German for too hot? Yeah. Too hot. Hot damn. This made me think of du hast. Du hast mich. Du hast mich. <laughs> we probably shouldn't go there. <laughs> it's a bad meme to start. It's a bad meme to start, yeah. I hope we learned our lesson from Smash Mouth. Did we? I I definitely learned mine. Yeah. Uh, everyone, well, yeah, we should, in case you're just tuning in, we'll, we'll catch you up on what we're building. I'm building one marmy, one marmy. One moment, sir. Crossbone Gundam. Oof. Just a big old pirate Gundam. Woof. Uh, Master Grade from 2006. So I'm, I'm so sorry that I don't learn the person's last name, everybody. It starts with K-A. And this one designer, this Gundam designer, like, stepped in, changed the game. And then so there's, like, versions of Gundams that he's designed personally. And this is one of those. Mm. Chat will let me know. Chat, let me know. Very cool. Yeah. Let me know, chat. Oh, I am constructing the Death Scythe Helm from Endless Waltz. And that is also uh, Hajime Katoki. Thank you, everybody. Best in the biz. Katoki. Does not come with bats, unfortunately, though. No wish bats, it, dude? I wish it did. What a rip. Yeah. It is so funny to put bats on the box of this yeah. thing. There's no reason. Sell it! Uh, ben, what are you putting together? I'm putting together the Psycho Zaku from Gundam Thunderbolt. Psycho Zaku. Where's that? Oh. Close-up cam's pretty far away okay. now. Maybe I should bring it back on the table. I'll just, uh, I'll lift the box. We'll, we'll do that. We'll lift the box. Kyle, I feel like you should be the one controlled the close-up cam all I the time. I miss close-up cam. You're so good about it. Oh, we, even, we haven't even switched to full screen the whole stream. I don't know if we're doing that this time. We don't have the setup. Uh, Ben. Yes? Did you check out Joe Devers something? 
It's no, gone. no, is that from Corn Fan? It may have been. Okay, because he's been he's been bugging me to check that out. Not bugging. That I don't mean that in a name. Oh. He's been. Oh gosh. <laughs> Oh gosh, I didn't mean it like that. He's been asking me to check that out for a while, and it does look really cool. Mm -hmm. And I mean to, I just haven't. So I'm sorry. I, I want to. Yeah. It's on the docket, for, though. Thank you for reminding me. That one looked interesting to me. Firmly on the docket. Firmly on the docket. Whoa, okay, okay. Okay. So this says, like, alts. I could make him skeleton version, or I could make him non-skeleton version. It's got ultimates. Yeah. Easiest question. I'll make a skeleton version. Cool, though. Feel the heat. No, no, no. Oh, God. He wasn't bugging me, guys. Come on. Uh-oh. I just accidentally misspoke. You give Chad a cookie. I know. They're, they're, they're a glass of milk. They're running with it, and they shouldn't. I didn't... It really was not annoying me at all. It's so tough when we get on streams like this uh, because chat wants us to look at and see so many cool things, and I want to. Uh, a lot of the chat recommendations are so good, but the way that I kind of consume things is I'll get really into something, and I just kind of want to consume all of that thing. Like, right now, I just want to play all of the Fire Emblem. Yes. Like, do you remember when I was in that Zelda hole and I just played Zelda back to back to back? Like, yeah. that's that's kind of how I function. I just... Oh, so that's why you're talking about Path of Radiance right now. Yeah, I just... I am in tune with Fire Emblem, and I just want to keep playing Fire Emblem and ignore all other aspects of it. Then I want you to keep playing Fire Emblem. Oh, thank you, Brad. It's, it's hard for to me happy. to bounce around ben, on things. You know, I hate that mobile game, but I feel like it's part of what's happening right now. Kyle... I feel like it, it got you warmed up. I... The thing is, I think a lot of the criticisms that you and Damiani have levied at Fire Emblem Heroes is accurate. But one, I think it's gotten a lot better. I think a lot of the updates that they've done are really good. And two, I love it. Yeah. It's, it's been fun. I really, yes, that mobile game is absolutely responsible for where I'm at. Right Much now. fun. But I can't hate it. I can't hate it. You can just not care for it. Oh, and I don't. Easily. <laughs> okay. Noted. Valentia, baby. Dying party members. Yeah, Ben, if I Valentia. just got like a... Oh, Kyle, I need to tell you something because I know that this is going to stress you out. Okay. All right. There are missable party members. Mm -hmm. uh, there will be some times where... Like knock on a door? So he... <clears throat> you're going around this world map, right? Yeah. Echoes has a world map. Uh, like Sacred Stones has a world map. You'll be going from place to place, and you'll go into these these villages, these shrines, things mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. Make sure you check out every single place, and make sure you return to places. Mm. Because sometimes... Like the, after the battle, you return to it? Yeah, there's one specific instance that I'm thinking of where if you don't come back to this place, you can miss these two sweet party members that you wow. absolutely want. Cool. You want them. Recruiting units. I guess we shouldn't call them party members. Recruiting units. Party members. Um... I'll, like, absolutely, like, lit my, like... Absolutely. Uh, absolutely. Pegasus Riders? Yeah. They're so soft, I'll just let them die. Sorry. Not in my party. Pegasus Riders? Pegasus Knights might be my favorite units. I just... Ben, I hate them, because... Oh, they, Kyle. They have so oh, much Kyle. movement that it's, like, they always no. go too what? far ahead, and then they just die because they're so soft. Okay. Kyle. Okay. In Fire Emblem Echoes, you need Pegasus Knights for this reason. Their movement... Movement is so important in this game. There's there's a poison swamp that you're in. Those Pegasus Knights can just fly right through that poison. They can fly over castle walls and get into hit units and open doors. And then once they do that, they just... No, these cantors that I'm talking about. Somebody just takes a little sewing needle, sticks it into them, they're dead. No, but you gotta, you just gotta put it... Okay, you can... There are ways around this, Kyle. Okay, I know. <laughs> I know. There are ways around They this. wouldn't be in the game if they were, like, that No, bad. they're they're, yeah. they're very good. Yeah. I would say... At Fire Emblem Echoes, I would say archers are the strongest. Like, Whoa. their range is so absurd, and you can abuse that range so much. And you can give them, like, pretty good defense. Uh, archers are insane, and I would say Pegasus Knights are more valuable to me than they've been in Master. Pegasus! Games. You've heard of those? No. 
play Fire Emblem Echoes. You're not going to be hating on those Pegasus Knights. You will regret your words and deeds. You think you know. You don't know. <laughs> um, there's somebody named Get High 9000. <laughs> That's says, pretty good. Let's get more Dons in the chat, please. <laughs> <laughs> this kind of shows up. Hey, let's get some more Dons, right? Hey, can we see some more Dons in the chat? By all means, let's see more Dons in the chat. I'm so glad that you brought that up. By all means. But Archer will still murder... A... No, 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 no. So by default, in Fire Emblem Echoes, Archers don't have a natural advantage against flying units. They can get there, but by default... They do not. It's harder to shoot Pegasus Knights out of the sky like it is. Because that's the thing! That's the thing, is because of the weapon triangle and because uh, in most other games, archers have a natural advantage against Pegasus Knights by default, Yeah, they do just, you sneeze on them and they die. That's not true here. Cool. It's not true. Not cool, as cool. true. You gotta, gotta put in some work to have an advantage against Pegasus units. Oh, they got me riled up. <clears throat> I love this. I love, uh, you, like... You don't have to sub. There's no pressure to sub. If you want to see any emote, simply request it. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> yeah. If you want to see some dons? Just request some dons. Just request some dons. Cordelia. Uh, two nights ago, there was a moment that made me like take a step back and look at my life that I thought was okay. kind of humorous. <laughs> um... I was playing Fire Emblem Echoes, mm -hmm. and I was getting really frustrated because these cancer units just kept summoning these skeletons, and I said out loud, I was, I said, this mage keeps summoning these skeletons, and he's just hanging out in the back like a coward. Like, I said it in a very... Out loud? Yeah, out loud. What, I said you in a very, Right, I said it in a very loud voice, and my girlfriend looked at me, and she's like, what the hell are you talking about? Yeah. And I was like, oh, oh, <laughs> that's where I'm at right now. <laughs> Yeah. 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 No, yeah. we've all been there, Ben. Okay. I frequently talk to my video games. I think the reason I bring it up is because I thought it was like a sympathetic, relatable yeah. issue, and it totally wasn't. Uh, oh, ben, it super is, dude. Yeah. Last one I had was out when I was playing uh, Darkwing Duck on NES. Okay. I was at the last boss. Yeah. And I just said out loud, no one home, no one around. I'm like, this boss is bullshit. Yeah, exactly. It was that. It out was that loud. Moment. Yeah. This is a cool free mug. This is a prey mug. Prey. Typhon. Oh, I gotta get back to prey. I wanna play it. Get back to mirror. To be. To be a master. Pokemon master. I will be writing a brand new chapter. Uh -oh 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 -oh. Times two, times two, times two. A lot of times two's going on here. Have you ever had the moment where, like, somebody asks you to go somewhere, like, to go get a bite to eat or to do something, mm -hmm. and you're playing a game, mm -hmm. and you're like, okay, this is only going to take five minutes, mm -hmm. and so you tell mm -hmm. them five more minutes, mm -hmm. and then a half hour goes by? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Have me persona, dude. Yeah. Just like, a big, long stretch. Yep, that's a good game like, oh, I need for to that save. to happen. <laughs> mm -hmm. Game's just like, nah. No saves. Uh, Bloodworth. Uh, Bloodworth. I, just, I talked to Jones about making that box... Peak video public and Jones is of the opinion that we always talk to Patreon first and so I think he's cool with keeping it private for a while it is public on Patreon if anyone any human in the world can go to Patreon and see it there and Jones likes to communicate with Patreon first which I get I get it put it in rest mode no you don't leave a fight unfinished I get it it's not you don't do that you made a Finish commitment. The fight. You made a commitment to your army. Finish the fight. Finish the fight. Obviously. Make room Master Chief. Rest do. mode. Master Chief finishes the fight. I'm just I'm just kidding. Master Chief always finishes the fight. No matter how no matter how just like drag me out of sleep again. Oh, I was sleeping for a bunch of years. <laughs> That's a very funny Master Chief impression. I like that one. <laughs> Ah, oh, Cortana. Ah, oh, oh, Cortana. <laughs> Cortana. 
fucking week, Cash. Yeah. That's <laughs> <laughs> my impression of the entire game these days. Can we cash? Can ah, we? Cortana, Cortana, prepare the needler. <laughs> <laughs> And then what? Where do you go, dude? For some reason I thought, and then what was a follow-up to... Never mind. No, no. What? Never mind. Never mind, never mind. Okay. Baby. Baby! Baby, baby, baby! Does Halo still have the neither? It absolutely does. A little Persona 3 go. Oh, yeah. Kyle, that yeah. Uh, that soundtrack thing that you do during uh, Osmond Osmond Osmond. Yeah. Have, have there been songs where you're like, oh, I gotta check that out? Has it enriched your musical life? Uh, yes. Nice. Yeah, absolutely. There's been some super good stuff. Super good. Um, you know what was super good was, I think it was the final track of Persona 3. Three, yeah, I think they they snuck that one in there. Ooh, nice. that was really good. Sneaky, sneaky. Good move, whoever did that. Um, a lot of stuff makes me mad, Ben. I would say it's like 50-50, Like this, I like, and like this is really terrible, and I don't want to listen to this. Good balance. So yeah. That's a good idea, though. Mm-hmm. And then there were spoiler songs last week. There was like a, a Persona 5 song where they were shouting at me in chat. They were like, you cannot play this. Whoa. You were spoiling a, a part of the game. And so now Persona 5 is outlawed. We got a lot of rules, too. Did the right thing, man. Yeah. You know, you do what you gotta do. Keep it secret. Keep, keep it safe. Keep it safe. Keep it safe. <laughs> yeah, I've learned a lot about David Wise. I you know, obviously I already liked him, but I learned... We played some really cool tracks. There's some good stuff. Uh, Snake Pass, man. That's a game I want to get back to. I want to finish Snake Pass. Yeah, you know what I would do is just finish it. The secrets are too hard to get. Sure, I'm okay with that. Um, this is an interesting question from uh, S. Blomkamp. I've been really into always open and relationship goals on Rooster Teeth. Do you think EZA would ever do a lifestyle relationship podcast? Um, I'll tell you a thing. I, was, I followed Tim Geddes, and he said, like, I was on it recently, uh, one of his tweets, and, like, the question was, like, when did you lose your virginity? And I said, there's no way I would ever be on a show like that. <laughs> there's, like, there's no way. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine on being, like, on Rooster Teeth? Um, like, some things I prefer to keep private in my life. those things? Yeah, that's too, that's, like, too personal. Where do you sit with that, Ben? I agree with both of you, and I think it's... Just for me, it's really healthy to be able to separate these two things. Yeah. Like, I love being able to come here and talk to you guys about the nerdy stuff in the world. Yeah. And then I love being able to have a weekend where I'm just going off and doing my own thing, and that's just for me. I don't want every aspect of my life to be for everyone. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, everybody. Our lips are sealed. Oh, uh, there's a... Sealed. Our lips are... I have no problem... I have no problem with the Lifestyle Podcast. Oh, no, absolutely not. Which is not for me. It's just not for it's me. It's just not for me. It's just right. not for me. You got it? My secrets? Never mind. What? I was gonna say, my secrets are the anime I don't tell you I watch. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. So lewd? So lewd. Well, it wasn't meant to be lewd. I'm just kidding. Okay, I see where that's coming. Okay, alright. Should've been aware of that. <laughs> Should've been aware Got of that. Back. You just gave Chad another cookie, man. You gave him a cookie. Here yeah. you go, Chad. Have fun. 
<laughs> here's, here's a cookie. <laughs> here's a cookie. <laughs> That's on me. <laughs> that, one, that one, that that cookie's on me. Take full responsibility. Uh, yeah, Bossman in the kitchen would be a bad show. I don't cook. Not, not a thing. No patience for it. Diet consists of Wendy's. So this is the weirdest thing. He's got a hollow back. Cause there ain't no hollow. Oh, back. I, okay. Yeah. So. Uh, I think it's because he's got, like, the spaceship that flies into his hollow back. Oh, okay. This is so weird. I guess I'll figure this out as we go. Whoa, look at that royal blue. Yeah, it's a nice... This is... Oops. Close-up cam's really far away. Favorite fighting styles in Yakuza 0? Uh, Slugger is okay. a lot of fun. What's the breakdance style called? That's my favorite one. Just watching Majima breakdance on the uh, Eddie Gordo. Beast is also pretty good from uh, for Kazuma. 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 Yeah. I haven't met a single person that doesn't like Yakuza Zero. Please play it. Thanks. Bell. I'm sorry. Breaker. That's what it's called. Thank you. My rules. Oh, Bell. Oh, Bell. I didn't want to tell you about this. Where's my rose? <laughs> <laughs> Beast is so good just because of the walking animation. He's just like... Mm -hmm. It's great. Uh, Zarkrin, don't you dare tell me who was casted as Venom. Don't want to know? Oh, I heard. Whoa, you sound disappointed. No, That's a I'm not. I really love Venom. And I'm actually team. pleased. Oh, that's a spoiler. It's Adam Sandler. Oh! Peter! <laughs> I got all this black goo. <laughs> Peter. Brad, are you gonna replay are you gonna do the haircut stream? Is it happening? Dude, uh yeah. I was waiting for Huber on that. That was all Huber couldn't make it or something. So is it still happening? Yeah, or is the, it just... the plan is still there. Well what does that mean? It's just whenever Huber makes it around, we do it. Okay. I have no time frame, just whenever Huber gets or we're together we can do it. Just... Oh. Brad, I want it to be an event stream. Sorry, dude. bro. Event. Not this one. Making an event. I this wanna, is I for the ones. That, this is for the ones that really pay attention. Yeah. Let's make it an event. Do you have any plans for any tabletop games? I would love something like Mafia or Secret Hitler. I know Ian's scheming some stuff. Ian's scheming some tabletop He's stuff. He's scheming. Um. There's been a lot of talk of doing. A lot of tabletop things. Yeah. I really want to do the Witcher board game that we got, like, yeah. two years ago. I want to play the Dark Souls 3 board game, too. Yeah. There's just no room for me. For me. But it'd be fun. That was originally the, the whole point of tabletop adventures and why we named it that way is we were going to do a bunch of different things. Oh. But then, uh, <laughs> that didn't happen. I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. He that was the that. intention. I mean, we can do that. I'm cool with that. Take a week off. Maybe, like, during the holidays if someone isn't back, we can just play a game. Yeah. It'll just be me and Huber. Everyone else will be gone. Because I'm gone. Feels good and bad. Isn't Angry Joe working on a Street Fighter board game? Chat, you'll have to tell me. I have no idea. What? What? If he is, I'm super jealous. Me too, man. Alright, so this comes from Savvy Student. I want to get into the Gundam anime, but don't know which iteration to start with. Suggestions, dot dot dot, not G Gundam. 
So I'm a little disappointed that you would already say not G Gundam. I love G Gundam. It's it's a very different oh, shoot, type this. of Gundam show for sure. But like, why would you shut it out like That's, that? That's I think he'd Brutal. appreciate it more if he's watching more Gundam. Maybe G, sure. G Gundam is so much fun. Uh, oh wait, the mess team. Yep, it's, it's very short. good. Yeah, yeah, great story. You know, I think we've we've like said that's like. That's our determinant one at this point. Low commitment barrier, yeah, it's high great. quality. It's great. Yeah. Good combination of things. Should have bought that Blu ray. Yeah, I have, it, I have I have Await the Mess Team on DVD. I should get it on Blu ray, Brad. DVD. You're right. DVD, bro. DVD, yeah. What are we. Ew. What are we living in the past? Yeah. Uh, less X more. Uh, top tens from GT are likely not to return. Um, mm -hmm. However, <laughs> Damiani wants to do a, a little compromise uh, where uh, he's going to do some top ten stuff on the Nintendo podcast, Friend Code. Oh, nice. Where it's like, let's debate the top ten of this. Man, I hope we get to do that other um, Oracle book. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When we need to this do time, it. I'm choosing where we're going. Yeah, we have to. Wait, didn't you choose where? I chose the, the right way. No, you guys did. What do you mean you guys did? You and Don right. We voted together against yeah. you, and it killed us. What are you talking about? We, uh, on one of the Nintendo uh, friend codes, we did, um, we played, or we read aloud a Oracle of Ages Choose Your Own Adventure book, and we oh, narrated nice. the characters. That sounds like a lot of fun. It was really fun. That was actually Zelda Talk. Oh, Zelda Talk, that's right. Completely different uh, show. Who's the guy that wrote the book? Get your branding right. <sighs> Man, we made so much fun of him, the poor guy. Yep. I'm glad, I guess it's good that I forgot. <laughs> He's just doing his best. He's just doing his best. Tight dead. Oh! That was a good Crunch. snap. Love them snaps. Snap crackle pop. Think it's a Dragon Ball versus Street Fighter board game, and Angry Joe gets to make it? <laughs> oh, I'm so jealous. Uh, uh, All right, Joe, you lucky. I'll catch up to you someday, Joe. One day. Gotta use that green screen, dude. Yeah. Uh, fast. I would love to try to convince one other ally to play Flint Hook. I don't know what that is. Yeah, it almost it almost slipped by my radar, but. <laughs> Can I tell you what kept me from doing it? Okay. And tell me. So let's talk about this. Okay. Uh, the randomly generated worlds. Okay. Yeah. Oh. I'm not usually a huge fan of that, but I'll try it. I can see that. The, the, the movement, though, is just so good, and it looks so good. Wait. Yeah, it really does look super good. Wait. I think it's I'm like this game. It's like 2D super good pixel art. Mm -hmm. Oh, never mind. Yeah. I'll try it, man. It's great. It's great. Adam Sandler can talk about on Netflix. Geralt of Rivia in the Netflix Witcher. Oh, I would love Geralt? it. Geralt. Geralt, sorry. My name is Geralt. I mean Geralt. I'm a Witcher. I hunt monsters. Where's Siri? Where's my <laughs> silver sword? Who took it? A uh, leprechaun. I hate leprechauns. <laughs> Rubber King's on here, dude. <laughs> nice. Nice, dude. Man, I gotta watch Sandy Wexler just for the laughs. Sandy! There's billboards here. Just Adam Sandler's new movie. Just for the LAFS. I do not like the hollow back. I was action. really surprised when I learned that they're making an emoji movie. I was, I was surprised very surprised and, and not, not surprised. Yeah, yeah. Yep, yep, that's where I was. Yep. You're like, oh, of course they are. Yeah, exactly. 100 emoji. You go, really? And then you go, of course. Mm -hmm. The Wild Hunt is the bad guy. Wait, they're the bad guys? Are we the baddies? I thought they were good. They are hunting. Cut that out. Okay. That was weird. <laughs> what are you, Voldemort? My pretty.
get a woman. Can we get a Bring check woman. in chat? How many are working on a Gundam right now? Oh yeah, we haven't had a Gundam check. Give me a Gundam check. Followed by some Don emotes, if you would, please. Thank you. Uh, Devolver Digital is doing E3 press conference. I just... I don't know. I don't know if they'll take it seriously, you know? Why not? It could be like a total goof, and they're like making fun of press conferences, and I think that would bum me out. Oh. Hmm. Goofy. Gotcha. Gotcha. Brand Working new. on a poster. Yeah, creative projects count as well. Absolutely. Or if you're playing a game. And who's just hanging out? Yeah, who's, who's just, just hanging, out? hanging out? Down the street. Ding. Okay, lots of hanging out even. Feels good. The same old thing! Oh, what a dumb show. What a dumb show. It's on for a long time. It was on for a long time. Long after Eric. Oh, if you want to be hit, just make something that you think's dumb. Or just be right on Big Bang Theory. Hey Dude, guys, I know it, nerd culture. Dude. Is it true that they're making a Big Bang Theory prequel? Young Sheldon is real. Ew! It's a real, it's a real show. Mom, you didn't get my Spider-Man comic. So he's nine years old no! in high school. Oh, wait, here it is. Wait, nine years old in high school? Yeah, because he's oh, so god. smart. Yeah, oh god. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I was in college, and I... I it was like... Freshman or sophomore year, and I hadn't seen, it was like the longest time that I hadn't seen my parents. Mm -hmm. It was probably like a good five or six months, mm -hmm. and they came to visit, we had lunch together, and we were just, you know, casually talking, and they were, they mentioned that they'd been watching a lot of TV, and I was like, oh, what are, what are you watching? And they said, Two and a Half Men and Big Bang Theory, and I said to myself, we've, we've grown apart. Oh. This is the separation. Oh. There's, there's a gap between us now. <laughs> my parents just watch British Mysteries. Too cool. But they have for the, my entire life. My entire life, they've been watching those. But I love those British mysteries. Who killed them? I would love to go to the Ellis household and watch British mysteries. You're welcome anytime, dude. With let's a, go, dude. Have you let's been to my go. house? Yeah, you've been to my house. Let's build Gundams and watch British mysteries with Hell yeah, dude. Okay. All right, new plan. You talk to my dad about music, Ben. Okay, great. I think great. he would like a lot of his stuff. Does he have... Okay, I want to talk to your dad about music. Like, my dad's cool with getting real heavy. Okay. Or you want to go classic rock? Yeah. I like both of those things very much, Brad. Does he like EDM? Some of it, yeah. Whoa. My parents are pretty broad. They're willing to listen. They don't shut down. They can appreciate things about music, even if they don't necessarily care for it 100%. Brad, you sound like you have the coolest parents. I do have pretty cool parents. Nice. I got good ones. Will the Fantasy League revive for next season, and will I be able to join it? I didn't start the Fantasy League, actually. Who started it? I was just invited into it. Oh. So, uh, yes, probably. Yes! Uh, yes. That perfect sticker oh, application. Yes. Are you in stickers now, dude? I... I did, and I, I gotta say, I like it. Kyle, have you played Puppeteer? No, dude. There's a game or a character in the game, like it's like a giant tiger, and uh -huh. you sounded just like him when you went, yes. You're Kutaro. Red. <laughs> uh, James Hetfield is the voice of a Skylander. No way. Yeah. What kind of Skylander is it? My kid's kid... into it. My kid's into it. So I had... is, yeah. that, is it that kind of thing? I don't know. I don't know. I Dude, forgot the name are, of the Skylander. I, so look... I gotta look Yeah, man. Up. My kids love it. But I saw a YouTube video of him voicing the Skylander, and it was the it's best. like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Firestorm! Thought you would get a kick out Hell of that. Hell yeah, dude. I'm so into that. It's so cool. <laughs> What's so sad, though, is, like, his kid's into it, and then, like... Maybe he's into it now. A dude. year later, the kid's not into it. You know what I mean? Like, Skylander's He just moves on to the next yeah, but, but here's the thing, Kyle. Huh. He's still just James Hetfield. Yeah, it's right. not like... Like, when his kid moves on to Call of Duty... That would bum me out so He's gonna much, be though. in the end credits playing a song. But, like, a year is like, you know, you, you do the VO while your kid's a super fan, and then when the game's out, it's like, Dad, I don't care, dude. I don't care. No. 
just love me. I think his kids would be more embarrassed by Lulu than, than the voice. What is Lulu? Wolfgang. That's it. Of course. An evil werewolf in Skylanders cool. Academy. Skylanders Academy? Yeah. What's going on in that universe? I don't know. I have no idea what the hell is going on with, with Skylanders. What's going on, Skylanders? What are you doing? I'm lost. Easy A Music Podcast with Blood when? Blood says he doesn't want to do it. I want to do one episode, and oh, I just okay. want Blood and I to discuss the Xenoblade Chronicles X soundtrack. Have you talked That's to Blood it. about it? No. He's apprehensive every time we pitch this to him. I think you're really going to have to, like, sweeten him up. I so really like Blood's take pot. on music, though. Yeah. Sweeten the pot. But I, I really, I, and I would like to talk to him about the Xenoblade Chronicles X soundtrack. Hash right. it out. Butter him up. Hash it out. Slather a little butter on that Bloodworth. Why don't you slatter a little butter on that blood? <laughs> the things that come out of our mouths. <laughs> oh, that perfect sticker application. So perfect. Change the name to Butterworth. <laughs> oh, I gotta put another sticker on. Okay, okay, okay. Butterworth. Bring me the butter. So it's a butler who just brings you the butter? Yeah. Butterworth, bring me the butter. <laughs> uh. We like to have fun here. Kyle, I think you were a classmate with my brother at Ithaca. Kidney05 says. Were you? Um, I do remember somebody named Kidney04, so that's totally possible. Cool. Yeah. Good Welcome stuff. to Ithaca. Welcome to Ithaca. A land besieged by war. Nice. <clears throat> I got a switch today put on a screen protector mm -hmm. there's one little piece of lint under it I'm at a crossroads peel it off you'll never forget about that lint time to restart <clears throat> reboot I'm so serious about that You'll never forget about that lens. Are we going to be doing something for the arms test fire? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, man. Because, like, yes, we totally should. Uh-huh. But they're so, like, short, aren't they? Is it one hour like the Splatoon test fire was? Yeah. So, like, it just, it sucks to come out to Jones's for one hour sometimes, you know? Sure. That's fair. Especially for us. So maybe we, maybe it's not, like, a group thing. Maybe it's just, like... I call one, you call one, Brad calls one, you know? Maybe we just do something like that. Okay. Uh-uh, fellas, I'm going in blind. <laughs> going in... <laughs> Media blackout for arms. Yeah. Blood says they're not one hour. Oh, okay. Correct us. Blood, how long are they? Don't just say they're not one hour, just tell us. Chat says they're an hour long, and then Blood's like, they're not one hour. He's trying to tell them. What if Blood just flipped the switch to make them not one hour right yeah. now? Now they're not one hour. <laughs> yeah. Like How about that. for Overwatch free period? Oh, man. If we got Kyle to play Overwatch... I played Overwatch. I know, but I want to play a game with you. Oh, no. Not just you, like, randomly. I'm all done. Can we play again, Ben? It's been so long. I would love to play Let's Overwatch, Let's go for a couple Brad. rounds, dude. Best Torbjorn NA. All right. all right, here's what we'll do, Brad. I'll play Overwatch with you. You'll play Tekken or Guilty Gear with me. Oh yeah. All right, cool. Dude, I want to play Guilty Gear so bad. Whoa. Yeah, you do. Love yeah. those games. I'm not. I have like haven't played them a lot, but whenever I play those That's games, okay. I'm like, these are these are good. These are great. It, I think if we just accept that we're trash, we can have a great time. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. yep. And I'm like super unfamiliar with Tekken. I haven't been. I've like never been super familiar with that series, so I'm excited to try that too. Like during the Injustice Two stream. I saw a lot of comments like, you guys are really bad at this. It's like, oh, and yeah. And we were really bad at <laughs> yes, it. Yes, yeah. I've never played it. But yeah. we were having fun. 
I don't play fighting games that much. As much as I do like fighting games. We need to get that, uh, we need to finish our HOTS games, dude. Let's get that D.Va police skin. HOTS is so much fun. It was a lot of fun when we played last time. HOTS is so much fun. The game where we actually won was incredibly fun. <laughs> like, they were still fun losing, but yeah. when we won, that was insane. When I... When I play with you and Brad and Huber, I learned that, like... It is my job to support you guys. Yep. Because like you well, need Huber's Huber, charging in. You need the charge in from Huber, the the magic from Ian, mm -hmm. the the paying him down from Brad. I just gotta like chill out. Yeah, I play flex roll. I just I can play anything you guys. pretty much. Yeah. That's that's where my spot is. Yeah, Huber's butcher. Yeah, that's right. Oh, that was when we were the Brothers of Destruction. That was yeah, the best. it was the best. It was good. WWE! WWE! Uh, Owlboy coming to Switch is very cool. Yeah, I want to play that, dude. It's a good place to play that. More than anything, though, like, enough of these arm streams, enough of all of this stuff. Put it all in the back burner, okay. because Esplom Camp has reminded me. It is criminal that the Allies have not group-streamed Player Unknown Battlegrounds together. Isn't that like DayZ kind of stuff, right? Kind of. Because I don't like Daisy really. It's way better than okay. that. Okay. It is okay. So, it is a. It is like a Daisy, but you drop in from a helicopter uh -huh. and you have a circle that gets smaller and smaller and smaller, uh -huh. encouraging skirmishes. Uh -huh. And finding stuff is a bit is like pretty plentiful. Usually, wherever you land close by, there will be some sort of weapon or something you can pick up. And so you have the scavenging elements of of Daisy. You sort of have the excitement of finding somebody, but uh -huh. all of that stuff is condensed down. Oh. And so you're, like, I remember playing DayZ, and most of the time, nothing is happening. In uh, Battlegrounds, it feels like something's always, like always happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's a lot of fun. BR Spy says uh, the other guys stream that game every Monday, and then did a PJ face. P-U-B-G. Who are the other guys? All right, then we're tripling down on JRPGs. Yeah. They can't take that away from us. Yeah. The other guys stream it every Monday. I can't. All right. It's done. I guess that's theirs then. Enjoy, other have guys. Have it. Have it. Every Monday. We just wanted to have a nice, fun stream. And I bet they're hilarious, too. Yeah. They're going to start building Gundams now? <laughs> PJ yeah. face is like a really good troll face. It's yep. the worst. Oh, dude. Maybe we should take some more emo pictures today. Well, the sun's out. Uh, no, oh, I'm, I'm doing I'm this happy. Group. I'm happy with my new emote. Yeah. We do it as a group. Can we, like, send that one for approval? No. Why not? I want it as phases, Brad. Events. I'm all about events, Brad. Why? We've been lacking on it when hardcore you, when lately. you cut Huber's hair, I want it to be an event. When we get new emotes, well, Guess what, Kyle? Not everything in life can be an event, all right? But I can... I have the power. I can do it. You know, people are, people want those emotes. Just give them the emotes, man. We got so many I emotes. I have the power. If you think we need new emotes, why don't you, like, use... Are less popular emotes. <laughs> yeah, just yeah. Them. Just look back, dig back in the bottom of the barrel, see what we got down there. Look at <laughs> like PJ is a great emote. Look at the use of PJ. PJ right is now. a great You're emote. It. PJ is a great emote. Not People enough sub. Not enough PJ. Mm -hmm. Should get those emotes, man. Yeah, we got those emotes open. Unleash the floodgates. So what's very funny about that PJ emote, everybody, is that that is the actual face of the person who stole Ben's 3DS. Yep. He sent Ben a text. Ne never forget. Mocking him. No, he didn't. No. It, Look, we're telling the real story about yeah, this right this, now. This, this, this is not just the, face. It's not just a meme. I wasn't kidding. Wait, he sent Ben a text? No, the way that... Okay, so I left my 3DS on a plane. Yeah. Okay? Went back. They said, oh, we can't find it. Yeah. I got a new 3DS, but on my Wii U, because it was the same account linked to it, I could so, I could see when he changed the me, and I would I would be at first I didn't understand what was happening. I've told this story so many times, but I love the story. Yeah, at first I didn't understand what was happening, and so I was like, wait, I didn't think my me looked like that, and so I went in there and made it look more like me, and then the next time I turned on my Wii U, it's this annoying little me again mm -hmm. named PJ. And he just kept switching it back. 
Like, it was yeah. his. Like, that me belonged to him. And I love that, like, PJ probably had to deal with your me showing up on his three Yeah, this poor little kid who's got... I I had so many downloadable downloaded games on there. That kid... Yeah. I made that kid's life. Oh, yeah. Look how happy he is. That kid's going to grow that up... Smug little PJ. ...to either be a game developer or to cover games or something. And he's going to be that all started when I got this Sad Sacks 3DS. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sad sack. You sad sack. Listen I'm so confused. Sad there should be sack. more parts. This thing should hopefully be better now. Or a pro thief. Well, it wasn't his fault. A pro Probably. thief wouldn't leave the trace. So that's what I love about the PJ emote, is that like I feel like we took some power back away from him. We're yeah, we did. Him. We did. I don't think he'd care, we're though. Just it's just fly. like we're glorifying, or he feels like he's getting attention now. I think he's in chat. For the crime he committed, he's getting, yeah, he's a phantom I thief think he's, now. I think he's feeling the heat. He's a phantom thief. <laughs> That's what I choose to believe. He's a phantom thief. Uh, someone says, why don't you try to communicate with PJ by naming your me, giving my 3DS back? Which I think, it, this is a thing that happens if you play Smash Bros. online, is that people will send you messages based off their, their names, mm -hmm. and it's the worst. So, like, you're playing with somebody, and then they'll change their name to, like, you suck. <laughs> so then you're playing against some guy named you suck. Yeah. Smash Bros. is not fun to play online. I mean, huh. what would that really accomplish for me? Oh, nothing. PJ's never given that thing yeah, back. Yeah, it would just—it wouldn't do anything for me. And you know, it's—it's it's my own fault. I was the idiot that left the 3DS in the plane. It just was a funny, funny end result. That's all. That's all it was. Just a dumb little story. Yes. Yes. I accidentally took out a part too early. Gotta isolate that. Isolate the part. Good. Good. Ah, Kuto roll. I was experiencing some Injustice 2 salt the other night. Oh my. Wait, against you online? Yeah, against me online. What happened? They like sent you a message? Uh, no, they just said their mic plugged in. Oh my so god! So during during the match, they just got more frustrated. Ben, that's my nightmare, dude. What happened? Can you just mute him? Uh, what? yeah, you can. You can what do you him. say? It was it was really mumbly. So I was I was <laughs> playing as Supergirl, and I kept landing the teleports. Sure. And he just kind of said under his breath, "So you're just gonna keep doing that, huh?" Oh sure. Yeah. It's like, uh, yeah, it's working. And, uh, that's that's how that ended. Adapt. You should just say adapt. <laughs> no. You just get on your mic, adapt. Well, what was bothering me is that the first match, I didn't realize that my uh, PlayStation cam was plugged in. Oh, no. And that would just was hearing me by default. Yeah. So whatever whatever I was doing was being picked up, and so I unplugged that shit immediately after that. Oh, so you're just going to do that, huh? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what it was. Oh, you're going to be like that. Okay. That's always so funny, dude. Tell me what his character pick was. Uh, he was Robin. Yeah. Damien. Who I think is very good. Did you run any garads? I didn't. I haven't sent, uh, I haven't run into a single garage. Um, I've seen a fair number of Robin. I've seen a fair number of Aquaman. I've seen some Supergirl. Deadshot. Um, who else? Who else? Who else? A lot of Batman. Of course. A lot of Batman. It's the Batman. Some Supermans. Yo, Superman. A little bit of Catwoman. Just a little cat. A little cat. Catwoman's fun. What's your favorite character design in ARMS? Oh, they're all so good. Um, 
I think the mummy guy looks red. Mummy guy's really good. I really like uh, Bark and Bite a lot. Mm-hmm. I haven't seen a lot of I the like new ones. I didn't too. watch the yeah. direct. I think she's she's bad ass. And Min Min. Min Min is good. I'd probably give it up to Min Min. Min Min. Give it up. Min Min's pretty awesome. Yo, Min Min, you're pretty sick. Give Robert all on the head. I just hope they have endings and we can like see what their lives are like when they're, like, they're not fighting and how they deal with these crazy arms. The arms just trying to like brush their teeth. And... Yeah. Arms is the perfect game for Tekken-like endings. Yes. Oh, man. Because actually, the direct started with a whole bunch of context. It was mm -hmm. weird. Go there, Nintendo, please. Go there. Go there. We will follow. Somebody said, uh, somebody mentioned a Dulcim cameo in Arms and how cool and how perfect that would be. Yeah, it needs to happen. They're buddies now. Nintendo oh. buddies now. They're total buddies. The palms are greased. Whoa, 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 back up, back up, back up. Dang, these are complicated arms. I think Helix is cool. <laughs> look at, look at uh, PJ with the tentacle <laughs> arms. I like the one with the long arms. Oh my goodness. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. Yeah, I feel like I spent like fifteen minutes on just these like two tiny little pieces. I know, of dude. Arms. I'm I'm moving more slowly than anticipated. Is it really two o'clock? I know, dude. Is it the end of our stream? I know. No way. Our we stream goes till four. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when it's, I'm when it's I'm not two hour stream, it's a four hour stream. Thank when you, I'm Brad. building Gundams by myself, mm -hmm. I oh man, I'm a speedster. I can I'm so focused. Yep. Chat, can you send us some McDonald's? <laughs> I am hungry. I haven't had lunch. Yeah. Don't, don't say that. Us, don't, I don't think any of us Don't have. talk about it. It's going to make it worse. Chat, send us some McDonald's. Chat, send us McDonald's. Chat, chat. <laughs> chat send us McDonald's. Please, we're building Gundams and we're hungry. <laughs> send them at E3 too. Chat. <laughs> chat. McDonald's. <laughs> Chat, stop with, stop with the squid emotes and give me some McDonald's. Give me some fries. All right. Bench about the pizza from yesterday. Yeah, I still have like that whole pizza left. And you then, got a pizza yesterday? Nice. Yeah, for <laughs> that's where that's where we're at with the Xenoblade streams. Yeah, is we just we just ordered a Papa John's large. Nice. I've never had Papa John's. Is it good? Oh, it's okay. It's great when you're hungry. Okay, so <laughs> <laughs> that's like Domino's to me. But Same then thing. I went and had pizza for dinner too. So dude, living the life. Yeah, we tried a new pizza place. It was good. Sick. We walked over to it. It's right by our apartment. We just walked down. That's good. Sat outside in a pizza. Oh, man. It was the life. Just give me a pie. Give me a pie. Wolf himself. Yes, the next podcast will be pre-E3 stuff. Kicking it off with E3. EA and Bethesda talk. If we could get, if we could sponsor our Final Fantasy XIV streams, like if we could get a Papa John sponsor for that, mm -hmm. I would leap on it in a heartbeat. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Let's do it. I'll leave on any sponsorship with uh, 14. Candy. Let's go. Coke Zero for Ben. Let's yeah. go. <laughs> Coke Zero sponsorship. There we go. Zero calories. Still waiting for San Pellegrino to reach out. Yeah. Come on. Expect it at this Still point. Still waiting for Fat Burger. Wait, we've been off the Fat Burger train. We've been off the Fat Burger train. I wonder if something happened. Yeah, it was always like an Ian move. Yeah. Yeah, maybe he had a bad experience. What's the inside scoop? What's going on, Ian? Chat, do you know what happened to Ian? Do you know why he stopped the bit? <laughs> Ian knows when to stop. All right. Yeah, it wasn't like you with Marcello's. Um, <laughs> what, I did Marcello's like once. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Marcello's was a weird one to pick. Though. I meant you eating there, actually. Oh, sure. Uh, what world is EZA in Final Fantasy XIV? Aren't they switching soon? Yeah, we're, we're all going, uh, 
We're at the whim of Damiani. It's a we're, little frustrating. We're going back to, we're going back to Ultra Rose, I believe. Doesn't it cost yeah. money to switch? Yes. Yeah. Like, how annoying. Damiani, it is. Stop it. It is, but, you know... Take it out of He's Dummy. got all the keys to the castle. Yeah, take what it out of do? Ch- The Dummy's reason why check. I'm not cool with that is because, like, he told our community, like, hey, we're moving to this server. And the, then, like, moving again, so he's just... The reason ask. we're moving back is because people can't make characters on our server. This is the third time I've switched. Come on, Damiani. That costs money, Damiani. dude. Damiani. Doesn't care. Doesn't care. <laughs> it doesn't. He doesn't. He goes where the... He goes where the people are. People need me. Alright, time to bust out the tweezers. Whoa, dude. Time to bust them out. Weep. How do I join the EZA FC on Ultros? Is there a process? I think you just send someone to tell or in mail. Okay. Because Dummy has to invite you, I believe. You Whoa, write a, really? You write a letter in blood saying why you're worthy. I don't think you can just auto join. I don't know if that's allowed in that game or not. Damiani really does hold the keys. <laughs> hey, I'm glad they're moving Ultros because I already paid once to move my character there because of Damiani. Yep. Join the club. I want to be able to commit 100% to 14, but it's 100%? also the it's, it's also the scariest. Like, what does that even mean? It means I sacrifice everything. Oh, okay. But there's so much, Bye. man. There's so many games to cover. There's so much oh, to see. Know. An MMO. It's a steep commit. It is, especially at the launch of a new expansion. But that's the best time too. It's the best time. Is the best of times. Is the worst of times. Mostly the best. There we go. Oh, that's a foot. That's a foot, all that's right. That's a foot. Let's look at that this. foot. Let's look at this foot. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, we're going to close-up cam. Yeah. That needs to be on close-up cam. I'll just go to it. I'll go to it. All right. You don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, Kyle. You guys making a clan of Destiny 2, you can count on it. You can count 100% on it. It's happening. Uh, what's nice about Destiny 2 is I think the vast majority of allies are going to be in. Yep. You get the whole crew there. We'll probably have you covered on two platforms also. Because some oh, will God. be on PS4, some I will can't. be on PC. When the game launches. And then, like, if you want to play in 2018, you can play with Brad. Mm hmm. That is a good point, though. Yeah, absolutely. It launching later is, is a factor. Have fun beta testing. I think it's nerds. a super small. F- I don't, I don't, I don't, for, for me personally, not, not, I'm not oh, speaking to the game as a whole. I mean the delay. I was exaggerating. I don't yeah. think it's going to be 2018. I don't yeah, think, yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't think, think so it'll be more than a month. I think it'll be, guess. yeah, I agree with you. Give me that superior version. Double dip. <laughs> I can wait. Double <laughs> dip good. with me. Double dip with me. Yeah, I can't. I've accepted it. It's okay. It's okay. I'm fine with who I am. Where's your bank account? Eh. We get along. We get along. <laughs> <laughs> we have an understanding. Those bills get paid. For me personally, is that a red letter media hmm? reference? Kyle, did you ever play an I any MMO is. regularly? No. Don't worry about it. Never in my life. It might just be a thing. We say a lot, I don't know. Or I say a lot. <clears throat> Very cool, yeah, it's red letter media. Going to bed now. Sleep tight. I'm going to bed now. Had enough of these boys. Very cool. Nerd box. Um. Bad. <laughs> Brutal, Brad. What, I'm not allowed to have fun? You're just mocking somebody for saying, um? Yeah, I'm having a little fun. Okay. Oh, I'm all right you that. mock everybody. Not for saying um. You mock people. 
Oh, you can't get hung up on one thing like that when you make fun of everybody. I'm hung up. All right, well, stay hung up. I'm hung up. You can stay up there by yourself, all right? Okay. Not, okay. A lot of, not a lot of goof and gaff, my friends? I'm just... I'm hung up here. Well, get over it. It was a simple goof. It was a simple gaff. And I'm having fun with it. Okay. Why are you guys making everything a big deal every time? I think it was out of line. Oh, it's only out of line if someone else does it, huh? You know, Kyle, you know what? From now on, every time you go out of line, we'll make sure to call it out. Okay. Every single stream. All right. I need that. Kyle, how'd you feel about Insomniac's North Carolina team working on a Spyro game? How'd I feel about it? What do you mean? Is that old news or new news? What? How'd you feel? Makes, makes it seem like that's past tense, like that already happened? Or how would you feel? Send me a message. Got the scoops? You got some scoops? Oh. The North Carolina team made that, um... What North Carolina team? They made a Ratchet and Clank 4 for 1. Oh! 4 for all? That is my least favorite Ratchet and Clank game that I've played. Right, so well, it'd be hard It'd be hard to be excited if, it's it, not a traditional if Ratchet we learned Clank that game. they're making a Spyro game. You know, it's hard to, hard to get pumped. I'm sure they just came to them with the idea of what they wanted that game to be. They're like, okay, you got it, Chief. You got it, Chief. And they made it. Oh, yeah, two shoulders, dude. You got it, Chief. Three shoulders, dude. Spikes. Arms time. Oh, wait, not quite yet. We're getting there. Did the North Carolina game make the new PS4 game? Saw me at team. Huh. Hmm. Your baby lives in North Carolina. So it's the Insomniac team and Cliff Blazinski himself came to the gallery I manage. Cool. Cliff Blazinski. Why does this have like dumb question? Things? But will arms have amiibo? Actually, I don't think that's dumb because they're not announced yet. Not yet. Give it time. E3, baby. The answer is yes, right? Probably. The that seems to yes. be the trend. There's no Nintendo game without Amiibo. Did they have Splatoon Amiibos before the game came out? Oh, yeah. Or is that after? That was uh, with launch, because there's a bunch of mini-games. You can't... So, challenges. Well, really? You need the Amiibos for that? Amiibo. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. That's some, like, hefty DLC. Huh. Uh, North Carolina team made PS4 game and Into the Nexus. Okay, you got Ooh. me excited. For oh, Into the Nexus is excellent. Okay, so yes. it, was, it was just one bad one. Good to know. Thank you, Zarkrain. Into the Nexus was, was one of the most enjoyable reviews I've ever done. Whoa. It was, like, it was the perfect review. We had enough time to get it done. It wasn't an absurdly long game, and it was just, it was just fun. Into the Nexus. Oh, good time. Very good time. Into the yeah. Nexus. It's a cool game. Cool game. Nice and short. Hey, Brad, I heard you finished Okami in less than 30 hours. That's right. I think that person's mocking you, Brad. You got That's called okay. out, dude. Still did it. Nobody believes you, dude. Don't have to. <laughs> Still did it, though. I want to see the receipts. <laughs> see the... I got to find my PS2 memory card somewhere. Yep. It's an easy game, dude. It's not hard. I don't know what Constructor HD is. I got to be honest, Corn fan. What is that? Constructor HD. I guess no one at the table knows either. Do you know? No. Okay. Nope. Constructor. Ben, that's a sick leg, dude. It is a sick leg. So I like to do my arms and legs simultaneously. I like kind of like mm. your method here, just finishing a leg, and it's like, all right, now for left. <clears throat> my, the way that I like building Gundams, Kyle, is mm -hmm. like putting it all together like this. Getting that head done gives me motivation. It it makes me more excited about what I'm doing. Okay. I don't know. Yeah. Like, you know, coming together. Motivation. Although, there's, we have a crisis right now. What's up? Uh -oh. I don't know what, how this happened. What's wrong? But my orange Correct. piece on my head is gone. Where uh -oh. did it go? How did it orange disappear? Orange piece? Okay. The good thing is it's a bright color, so it it'll be easier color? to see. Yeah. Check. Did you check below you? No, I have not checked below okay. me. Okay. I'm checking above me first. Excellent. I feel like I really haven't messed with this all that much. I'm not sure if something hit it or what happened. I saw Brad wandering around swallowing pieces. That's true. With uh, maybe that happened. You guys should know better. 
grabbing pieces and just sticking them down his throat. It's wow. just, I wouldn't be so concerned if it wasn't such a crucial piece. That's a, dude, that's a crucial piece. It ties it all together. A piece! Jones took it. Because <laughs> he wanted to put the last Get piece on? Yeah, the puzzle! The puzzle. Just like the puzzle! Yeah, Jones is doing it. <laughs> so yeah. Jones is like, boop, now it's done. Yeah. Oh, that's such a funny story, dude. Ben, I think it'll turn up. I think it'll turn up, too? Absolutely. I believe, Ben. Orange, dude. Well, we found that piece last time. Yep. This is... But th I didn't drop this. It just mysteriously vanished. Sophie just hopped over. Ow. Okay. I just gotta be... Just gotta be patient. It'll turn up. Patience. Benjamin. We'll look for it. Once the stream is done. Breaking Benjamin. It's almost kind of weird doing the stream without Jones. He's becoming like an unofficial he's, member. Yeah, I think he's a member. Of the Gundam construction team. Yeah, he's, he's like the substitute teacher that yeah. comes out. But he should be a main, a main teacher. Right, like you learn that sub's name and you actually get excited. Yeah, you're like, oh sweet, sub's here. We need a bigger table. That's what we need. Yeah. Well, we can use that as like a mini table. Check around your coffee cup. Do you see it, chat? Chat, you see something we don't? Let me check on your... Couldn't have gone far. Let me check on your mind. Wait, yeah, you do have a coffee mug. Where's your... So I think they think maybe it like got connected to it, Ben? Hmm. I handed you a coffee mug. Yeah, you did. What I happened to it? Over here. My coffee! Oh, damn it! Don't touch that piece. This is my coffee mug. Don't touch it. Oh, dude, it's Mr. Jones. Cool. Hey, Mr. Jones, how you doing? H and J. We'll worry about it later. We have to move on. Hey, Mr. Jones? Uh, can I talk to you about girls? Yeah. Oh! It got in the box. Yay! Yeah. Look at that. It, it's in the corner of the box. Where are you going with this? There's a note. Like, Mr. Jones would be cool with talking about yeah. notes. Let's sure, man. Let's yeah. talk. Oh, man. How's your mom doing? Doing good? Yeah. Mr. Jones, how do you know, like, when to stop bothering a girl too much? What do you mean by that? You know, just like during class. No, we shouldn't be doing that in class. During class, I'll look at Katarina. Katarina. <laughs> and I'll like, I'll crumple up pieces of paper, and I'll toss them right at the back of her head. Oh, you should like don't do that. Okay. What's the kid's name? Um. Just gotta dress him by name. Everybody calls this kid by his last name. Mr. Jones only talks about Disney girls. Said Zodak said. Disney girls. So he always relates it. Except so he's like, boys. well, you might remember uh, in Little Mermaid. Well, think about yeah. when Aladdin was Prince Ali Baba. Oh, and yeah. he was talking to Jasmine. And he would bother Jasmine exactly. all And you gotta know when See, to the stop thing bothering is, her so much. You gotta be a street rat. Yeah. Then she'll like you. Yes. Just do that. And get a flying carpet. I steal whatever I can afford. <laughs> Full playthrough of SNES Aladdin win? Tell you what, Ben. We'll do the double feature. We'll do Aladdin on SNES and Genesis. Okay, cool. We can do that in like, They're different enough. We can do that in like three hours. Yep. Great. Let's do it. I teach high school and I try to relate stuff to Harry Potter and Disney all the time. It's what works. That's off. That's awesome. It's what works. Pippin. Where's the H, kid? Where's the H? We need those H's. D. Constructor was a PC game around 97, and they are remastering it. It is a building sim game where you can compete with other building companies. Ooh. Corn fan, that's a pass for me. I don't play video games to build buildings. I play video games to destroy buildings. We well, built a lot of stuff in Mario Maker. I love building stuff. 
Yeah. I think you got the best shot at Don Love in that game. Don used to play the city building game, Skylines. Mm-hmm. He used to uh, be really good at he that. He loved game. it. Yeah. Wonderful. F F F. I just want Animal Crossing. That's that's it. Please and thank you. It's coming, Ben. One day. One day, KK Slider will emerge. Do de do, de do. Be bappy de do. My heart, my heart. My heart. We're just Dang. KK Slider is like good stuff. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Animal Crossing presents the world as it should be, not as it is. Being in debt to a raccoon. Is that a comment or is that just you right now? Uh, that's a line from my favorite review of oh. all time. Uh, Roger Ebert, my neighbor Totoro. That's, oh, how, that's how he opens it. He says, "This Ghibli presents the world as it should be, not as it is. All right, Ebert. <laughs> All right. I feel like I ruined that for you, Kyle. <laughs> Shouldn't have explained the context there. <laughs> All right, Ebert. We get All right, it. Ebert. Okay, Come Ebert. On, All right. I know your Animal Crossing review up whenever you do it like that. Yeah, that's, that's well, I think Jones will probably be reviewing that. Fight him. I don't need to review Animal Crossing. I just want to waste my life away in it. That's all. Yeah. Just That's waste all I want. my life. Can I just waste my life? J. Jam. Kyle, you tried Chroma Squad. Yeah, so here's the thing about Chroma Squad. I think I streamed it, actually. Uh, I love the idea of trying to create... A TV show, dude. Power I played that with you. Yeah, I remember yeah, that. You that on the stream, Brad. Where I get bummed out is that like it's the turn super early where it's like, oh, this stuff is actually happening. Mm-hmm. And so like, there's this weird element of like the story is actually there's actually bad. Like I would be totally fine with just it being a sim game. Just a TV show. That's it. Yeah. But, like, there's this weird element where, like, it's, monsters yeah. poured in, and they're like, what? Is this part of the show? And mm. they're like, yeah, no, I'm not part of the show. But, like, they're like, afterwards, they're like, <laughs> yeah, I'm not part of the show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And it does that for a long time. Don't have patience for it. Is this part of the show? Is this part of the show? So I totally dig, like, the first five minutes of that game, big time. You got five minutes. You got five minutes. Then I'm out. Got it? You got it? One pot. One pot. One pot. Ooh, Ben, that womp womp. That was good. Nice. See it? Are you in Brandon's garage? We are indeed. Sure are. Audio desync. I'm on it. I'm on it. So it just does that? Yeah, dude, it sucks. Why is it? That's so weird. Yeah. It's just like, yeah. So everyone, that just happens because we now use a video camera as our webcam. Obviously, it looks a lot nicer, but uh, you asked for it. It desyncs for some reason. We don't know why. One thing. And so. Oh. No, let's not go there, dude. Oh. It's not, let's not. Let's I don't not do think it. like a lot of other streamers have the setup that we do here. I think we have a kind of unconventional setup. It's, it's weird to like Google this. I don't know. We're the best. Yeah, I'm we the are best. the best. Uh, so that's why we desync. Yep. The other guys, they don't desync. You think Angry the Joe desyncs? No. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. why he got that sweet gig. Yeah. <laughs> the other guys don't desync like we desync. It's worse now? No. I don't believe you. Uh, I don't believe it's worse. No. <laughs> no, it's not. Excuse me, chat? No. 
What'd you say? Uh -huh. If it is, if it's still laggy, I'll go. I'll try to do a better effort. Laggy, laggy, lagatha. Guys, you don't get enough credit for how much work you put in the streams. I don't know how to set this up. Good on you, man. This thing? Yeah. It is desynced a bit. Uh, Jones helps out a ton too. Who's yeah, to you and Jones and Damiani. I appreciate it. I feel comfortable with Damiani's in the pilot seat. In the pilot seat. You know, commander steering the ship. I'm like, it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. Just don't make me transfer servers again, please. <laughs> it's fifteen bucks a pop, Damiani. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Like, it's like twenty, I think, or more. It's twenty, yeah. Come on, Damiani. Come on. I just got comfortable. Obviously, you know, I, I love the Damiani's here, and but like, I would just love for like there to be this person who knows exactly why stuff desyncs. Right. We just kind of fix it. We don't know the root the cause. cause. Yeah. Yeah. Things are coming together on this gun, baby. Come together. I got some six separate pieces, but they're not connected yet. Like, look at these sharp. These pieces are Ooh, sharp. Ooh, Ooh. sharp. Ooh. Do you mind? No, I don't mind. Okay. So that's the shoulder. That's a good-looking shoulder, that is, dude. Ooh. That looks like a talon, man. I like it, Brad. It's like a little gauntlet or something. XB. Sony Xbox. Uh, Disney XB. <laughs> Disney XB, dude. Is it worse now? Check, 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 check. Is it worse now? Pineapple. www.neogaff.com is a very funny link. What are we doing? Why are we doing this? What's going on? Why? What? Still the same. Hmm. 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 Still closed. Still closed. Ha ha! Just got fire on them echoes. Nice. No, I'm hand crying. Hand check, man. I've heard that a long time. Hand check. Hand check. You're right. Wow. That's yeah. That's a, no, hand check is school. a deep cut. Deep cut. <laughs> deep, deep cut. <laughs> deep cut too. Oh, you cut me dead. Dark seed versus deep cut. Uh, you two flap your lips. Blah 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 blah. blah, 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 blah check blah. check mic check. Mic check mic check. Checking the mic microphone. Check, check your mic, check, dude. All right. Mic. Check your mic. We're oh, here. Yes, this is the gun piece. dumbs. <laughs> that's, that's all I got. We're here. Build the Gundams. The beat just goes on for like 30 seconds at that. We're here. Build the Gundams. Check out my sick shoulder. It's got sharp edges. We're here. Build the Gundams. We're here. Build the Gundams. Do thing. you like okay. Bill Gunners? I do. I do too. I steal whatever I can afford. Someone asked what's your favorite Disney movies earlier. What are your guys's? Moana. Moana's your favorite? Yeah, that's good. Um, I haven't finished it yet. I need to finish it. Favorite Disney movie? I actually, I actually really like Alice in Wonderland a lot. That's a good one. It's a classic. Of course I love Aladdin. Did I also it. really like The Sword in the Stone. Yeah, it's a great one. Uh, Emperor's New Groove. <laughs> hmm. Hey, are they, are they in sync better now, buddy? Nobody's been talking about the sync. I just see Disney movies. Just keep, keep their minds off it. Let's talk sync, people. Let's talk sync. <laughs> We, you all want to hear it. We know. How's that sink, yo? Lethal Weapon. It's a good Disney movie. Do we gotta... I steal whatever I can afford. <laughs> that was a, a 
Interesting rendition. What? What? Oh, no, I get a phone. Is Disney okay, Marvel? so that here's is. the thing. It can't be by a full second, because some people will say it's fine. Brad, go ahead and clap for him. There's no way Brad claps and then a second later you see it. It can't be that bad. It can't be that bad. Because we're building Gundams. Ooh. Oh, we're building Gundams. Guys, I'm excited for our road trip uh, next, uh, was it Thursday? I think it's going to be a little coop. Yeah. Oh, you're right. That's going to be a crazy It's going to be a fun trip. drive. Damiani behind the wheel. Stay safe. <laughs> all right. So I... I can't, handle, I can't handle the feedback from chat because it's all over the place. Oh, I, I wouldn't handle it. I do appreciate the feedback, chat. Obviously, you. I'm not frustrated with you individually. I'm frustrated with uh, the, the concept as a group. Just touch the water, cow. Yeah, exactly. Because uh, many say it's fine. Many say it's a half second off. Which, by the way, is a ton of time. It's a ton. It's a ton of time. I would love to meet somebody and the way they introduce themselves... Is hey, you guys like Aladdin? What? 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 No, I, I think I saw one of them, and yeah. I don't remember it at all. Yeah, that sounds about right. Don't have the courage. My beloved Aladdin. Just a little lousy. <laughs> My spooky door. For this Aladdin picture, we thought we would give Aladdin depth by revealing his father... Is one of the thousand thieves. <laughs> is it forty thieves or a thousand? <laughs> thousand thieves. I'm surprised you remember that. His father does not have a genie, however. So as you could understand, the dynamic will be quite interesting. Quite riveting. <laughs> Was that their elevator pitch? <coughs> That's the director, dude. He's no joke. That's the note that comes in the collector's edition. Yeah. <clears throat> XA. Thank you, the ARD 714. Thank you. Navy Blueprints. Candy Coat Thorns. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's not something I hear very much anymore. What? You're welcome. No one ever says you're welcome anymore. I like that. Keeping it classy. Yeah, see? Keeping it classy. Keeping it classy. Sing the Gundam song again. One night only. One night only. Kyle, when you win the bet and make Huber Sonic character, will you pick the bear one? Nope. Huber doesn't need to be bear whenever he just wants to be a bear. Is there an actual likes... bear character for Sonic? Yeah. Tell you what, I'll make it out of spite and just tease him with it. Yeah. Oh, look, Huber. Maybe if you were correct. Yeah. Just because you like a thing doesn't mean you always get to be that thing. Yep. In fact, with us. <laughs> Huber, you're going to have to be a bird sometimes, dude. I want to be a bird. I'm probably going to make it a bird. Just be ready for that stream, everybody. Dude, Kyle, don't. I'm not making Huber a bear. Kyle, no, don't. Make it a bird. You're a bird, Huber. You're just gonna have to deal with being a bird, Huber. I'm sorry. That's it. You're a bird, man. Sorry, you're a bird now. <clears throat> Yo, 
figure. We have much to figure out about this year's betting special, to be honest much with you. Much to figure out. Who will win? Who? 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 How? Who? Jones knows too many secrets this year. Yeah, he's out. Sorry, fair. bro. You're out! You're out! So all of the bets for him pertain to next year's E3. Yeah. Correct. Huber just puts bets in chat. It's Slack. It's Slack. <laughs> Huber! Stop it. Stop! It's always funny when Huber gets like in a hyped mood and he just posts a million things in Slack. Yep. Destiny EX. Apparently he like months. crashed your stream with E3 hype. Yeah, he did. It was very funny. It's great. I was like, oh, okay. Would love a Patreon poll for one betting question. I'm not willing to compromise the betting specials like that. I respect it. I do. Oh, 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 that was bad. Oh, bad. What happened? I accidentally scratched with my fingernail. Oh, no. Filer. And, uh, yeah. Yowza. Uh, yeah. Nails on chalkboard sensation. <laughs> uh, morning spirit. Thanks for the resub. Four months. Morning Spirit. Morning Star Spirit. I like that. Uh, I don't like vampires. No. Wait, what? <laughs> Kyle, do you like vampires? Was a question in chat. Uh, don't like them. They're rude. What they're prompted careful. that, I wonder? Me too. I like vampires. I like killing them. So do you like them or not? I like a part of them. That's right, man. Yep, thanks. You knew. Ben knows. Brad, let's just, for Halloween this year, let's just stream a whole bunch of different Castlevania games. Let's just cosplay as Castlevania characters. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, so, I didn't recognize that as Castlevania music. Mm. And <laughs> when I heard, I was thinking, like, is that, like, the Buffy the Vampire Slayer song? <laughs> oh, no. And then I started imagining, like, Buffy the Vampire Slayer just starting with, like, you know, Sarah Michelle Gellar going, <laughs> Pretty good. That's a show. Put it together. Put it together. <laughs> The signature <laughs> song. And it's just like people doing it with their mouths, like no instruments. Yeah, I don't know. Does it have lyrics? Super serious show. This show's come up. Ben, we should just do a CD of all Castlevania music just with us. Acapella? Yeah. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Yeah, just like. <laughs> do, do, do. Uh, Huber used to sing one. And charge like way too much for yeah. it, like twenty nine ninety nine. Yeah. yeah, here we go. Oh, that was the one, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we got it. Like any tracks featuring that, Huber. We do that track and it's just solo Huber. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I just could do that song Huber, yeah. all the time. The best is when you go like, hey, what's that song? <laughs> uh, they go sick. Bandum, badum. Paisley. Your arm pieces? Give me your arm piece, kid. Alright, B15, P52s. The wheels are coming off. They started off, man. We've been sliding down this hill <laughs> since the stream began. You guys going to E3 again this year? You bet we'll be there. You bet, baby. You bet we'll all be there. I don't know. The other guys are going to be there. Oh, okay. oh, really? Yeah. All days? Yeah, all days. We're going to have to I'm just going to watch anime. anime. Yeah, I'm just going to hang out and watch okay. anime. Yeah. Someone needs to get Ben to grow a beard. Okay. It's not me. So it's it's going to have to be one of you. Not you me. know what? I'll 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 say force this. That on him. I'll grow a beard if I want to. If I don't, Ooh. I won't. Whoa, dang, <laughs> savage. That's how we're gonna handle that. If I don't, I won't. If I don't, I won't. Do -do -do -do. X A. Listen, if I want kids, I'll <laughs> have kids. 
Damn it. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Who is that? Turn Listen, me. if I want kids, then I'll, I'll have, have kids. kids. It's like some guy in Dr. Phil. <laughs> Just don't get it, do you? Uh, Alright. That is a skit, everybody. <laughs> That's nothing more than a skit. Just a skit. Skit oh, it's just a skit. Skit though. I expected more. It was just a skit. Really? This is what I got? Really? That's it? Just a skit? <laughs> huh. Funny, I guess. <laughs> ben, are you going to be on another fiasco not soon? Uh, turn that up post. It's up to Ian. It's up to Ian. I was gonna be on the last one, but I uh, something came up. So yeah, probably. Ooh. I really enjoy Fiasco Nuts. Oh, oh yeah. When we, I had never seen the Regina's wedding one. Whoa. Uh, but then when we were doing the stuff for the anniversary, I thought, holy shit, this is really funny. I liked it. I want to go back and, and watch that. Uh, yeah, that was like that was a good one. They're not usually that good. <laughs> <laughs> Way to sell the show. Yeah. <laughs> I, like, I don't want to oversell it. Was like, that yeah. was that was really yeah. Funny. That was they're usually not yeah. that good. Why is this being so difficult? Why? Okay. Okay. Where's XA, dude? Where are you, man? Where did I go wrong? Um. Farpoint, I really like. I have a really, I had a really good time with Farpoint. I just, uh, I got the queez by the end of the stream. Oh no! Um, He's got the queez. So yeah, if you can handle, like, I have no idea how Huber handled uh, Resident Evil. With I had to take. He had, yeah, he minutes. had problems. He had problems. Yeah, and so yeah, I think, I think if I was not streaming, I think if I was playing at my own, my own pace. Uh, I would have enjoyed it a lot more, but the game itself is way cool. It's really cool to fling around the gun and shoot whatever direction you're pointing that gun in. Uh, shooting bugs in space is just inherently fun. Um, so yeah, I totally dig it. I dig Farpoint. Best carpet of E3 2017. You can never guess. You can never guess. Square Enix. Pretty good carpet, dude. It's kind of cloud and plastered on it. displays. Yeah, those are always cool. And they're going to sell merch in there this year, I bet. Oh! Why? Because it's the public year, and now they're officially know, allowed I to know. sell merch. It's going to be crazy. Buckle up. Strap in. E3. Buckle up. E3. I get to see a couple of games with Ben Moore. It's going to be jolly. That is going to be jolly. And Damiani. In fact, two back-to-back. -back. We're, we're going to have a good back, time this year. Back to back. Yeah. Find us on the floor. Come say hi. Ben, do you remember Canadome? I do. It's probably my least favorite that I've been on. That was a weird one. What? Do you remember that one? The Fiasco Nuts? We were... Oh, yeah. Canadome. That was... Canadome. Oh, that was GT, right? That was GT, yeah. Got it, got it. Canadome. Yeah. You cut! It's all about that one we did. Frank Thunder. Oh, I love Frank that Thunders. one. That one was a ton of fun. Max speed. Yeah. I go fast. <laughs> yeah, that one was great. <laughs> Yuki. J Dug, four months. Thanks, J Dug. Oh, J Dug, what up? J Dug, J Dug. Bam, 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 bam,
Funny comment from Blood. I still remember Charles Martinet puppeteering an animatronic Wario saying, Xbox sucks, Xbox sucks. What? What? That's a Bloodworth memory. Blood, you gotta say that on camera. How did that dude. happen? Yeah, we need that on cam, dude. Wah! What studio do you hope blows the doors off E3? Studio is what makes it an interesting question. Hmm. From software. Good answer. They're predictable. Oh, yes, Brad. So oh, yes, yeah, so predictable. But you are right. They are the best. Yeah. Soccer punch. Oh, That's my answer. God. Oh, someone else already did that. Look, it strikes that as on uh, Sucker Punch. That's who I want, Brad. Uh, I think it'll be in, not an infamous game. Yeah. They made three. It was supposed to be Spider-Man. The rumor was Sucker Punch was working on Spider-Man, so now I have, like, no idea. Gotcha. Yeah, they got me. Sucker Punch, what are you working on? You working on some other superhero? Or are you working on a separate Spider-Man game? I'm cool with playing two Spider-Man games. Are you? Yeah. Yeah. I am too. So predictable. <laughs> CD Projekt Red is a good answer. And one that I very much agree with. Oh, yeah. I wonder if they'll just be showing Gwent, though? Cyberpunk! Hmm. I just want to believe. That's, oh, all. Okay. That's all I want. So I feel like the games are still ways off. Yeah, probably. Yeah, it's Gwent. But I mean, they showed Witcher for a couple years, though. Hey, let me believe. You asked who I you am, want to blow ben, up? Ben, I am letting you believe. Hey, man. Hey, man. No, I know. I just want Animal Crossing. I relate to that. Can relate. Spyro remake, I think I'd be more excited about than a new Spyro game potentially. Oh really? Because I think those old games hold up. They're pretty sweet. I think they hold up better than the Crash Bandicoot games, if I can be honest with y'all. And so I'd be way cool with that, those getting a little remaster. Way cool. Yeah, Brad, I'm nervous about like this Crash Three pack. What? Like, I'm nervous to just, like, hopping into Crash 1 and just being like, oh, this is super hard and weird. I'm excited to play because I missed, like, all those games. I really? didn't really play them, yeah. Oh, okay, cool. So it'll be, like, the first time for me, pretty much. Cool, cool. I'm not afraid of a little challenge. You know? Yeah. Easy come, easy go. Yeah, but it's like, uh, a lot of the challenges is, like, the perspective of... The camera and stuff? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I just... It's okay, I mean, we... So hard to line up jumps. We can do it, man. Okay. Kids did it, you know? We can do it. Kids did it. And then there's just like, you won't get the real ending unless you beat it in the speed trials. Oh, boy, did that annoy me. Oh, really? That's the real ending? Speed trials? Yeah. What a bizarre choice. I also would really like to just play through Sonic Mania right now. It's coming back. Sounds right like a good time. Now. Yeah, now's the right time. I don't care about it in the fall. I want to play that game. Now. I want to play it now. Yeah. yeah. D four Donkey Kong. Okay. I also what? I mean, on one hand, I want to play Sonic Forces because of the Creative Sonic feature oh, and enjoying playing. that with you guys. Yeah. But I also kind of just want to play it. Yeah, like that's I got removed that's from fair. you guys, and I feel weird. Being excited about it? Nah, Why dude. should you feel weird? Nah, dude. Because I... I mean, the track record is not great, but... We if won't you're excited get fooled for it, again. That, if you're excited kind of for it, just... Yeah. yeah. I'm tentatively excited. Something feels different. Oh, it's different. But that is, isn't that always the case with the Sonic Cycle? Isn't that no, always how it goes? One, 
They brought back Guys, a sense one, of speed. This is it. They're going to do it this time. This is weird. Sir Culpi says, I placed the clip, clip into Premiere and didn't find any audio delay, at least when downloaded. What? What does that oh, mean? What? So the delay, everybody's... The, the desync is like... Desync. Not in the video itself? Help us. So this is kind of cool. We're looking at some forearms here, everybody. Behold my forearms. I think the other reason why I'm tentatively optimistic is because Sega's done a lot of good recently. Sure. That's why I'm Absolutely. excited. Absolutely. Okay. Like, hey, autofocus not great today. Way to put Bayonetta on PC. Hey, way to put Vanquish on PC. Hey, Yakuza That's Zero, thank reason. you. They do that? Yeah. They like They're doing, uh, doing good things recently. They're doing good things. So lovely. <laughs> chat, send me some Burger King. Come on, chat. Chat, give me a burger. Come on. We asked like an hour ago. What a big old whopper. No pickles. <laughs> it's one a whopper. No pickles. How did you play Busta Groove on PS1? No, I think I played a demo and wasn't good at it. I never understood what it was trying to ask me to do. Either you played that game? Yeah, I played Busta Groove. Really? Uh, I can't remember what that is. I remember Busta Move. Okay, so we're talking about the dancing game. Okay, okay nope. Okay. Didn't have a lot of much rhythm game experience. Uh, do you know what a game that I thought was really cool and then was so bad at it, I backed off? Whoa. Beat Mania. Oh, yeah, yeah. You gotta back off. Beat, it's like, just it's, not it, for us. It is really cool. <laughs> but boy, at the time I played it. Back off, kid. It was rough. I was rough at it. Hmm. Have you played Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door? Heck yes. Heck yeah. Yes. That's a top tenner. No. Whoa. Yeah. Not a top tenner? No, 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 I haven't played it. Oh, okay. Uh, that might be the next full playthrough. We'll see. But people are saying they want it to be a group stream, which I totally understand. I would love to just sit down and play through Thousand Year Door with you guys. I'll wait for the remaster. Okay. On Switch this summer. Okay. Sounds good. We'll do it then. Got those Kiwi Scoops? Kiwi Scoops. We still need a Sunshine stream with Jones. Yeah, when, uh, when that new thing comes out. Yeah, let's play Sunshine. Love Sunshine. Let's do it right now. Love it. Kyle, have you beaten Digimon World yet? I think I uninstalled it. I don't think I'm ever going back. Unin Thor. Thor. You had your time. I had my time. Uninstall, bro. Yeah. Yosh. I will probably never get to Digimon World. I would like to finish Cyber The Sleuth. Digital World. If at all possible. Cyber Suit sequel, I'm all up on it. All up on it. Full playthrough? Full playthrough. Not, nice. Not streaming though. Okay. Just my time. <laughs> you just you make an, another channel and you just stream to no one. Don't anyone. tell anyone. Well, That's, I technically streamed it. No, like uh, I like playing RPGs by myself. I, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like where you don't have to like read out loud everything. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Just, sure, sure, sure. Yeah. That's yeah. Uh, like Xenoblade having voice acting? Yeah. Yeah. Ben, I was it's thinking uh, about uh, a lifesaver. streaming Okami, because tr last time I tried to do it, it was botched, but uh, I was like, oh wait, the first three minutes, there's a ton of dialogue. Yes. Mm -hmm. So much. Yes, it gets it gets tiresome reading that stuff out. Uh, Abrak, uh, the next Hall of Greats is this Tuesday. 
Oh, baby. Me. Oh, baby. I have no idea what I'm going to pick yet. And so uh, I'm going to have our patrons vote on rules as opposed to vote whether or not to do it. Because I just want to do it so bad. Whoa, dude. Yeah. I've got my game locked. I think I do, too. Nice. Interesting rule would be no Nintendo games. It would, I would laugh so much if you just did Mega Man Legends 2. I don't like it better. Okay. What did you do the first time, Kyle? Mega Man Legends? Legends? Yeah. You picked Street Fighter 2, Ben, right? I did. Dude. Should have won. Should have won. Yeah, that was Sorry. a tough one. What one? Super Metroid? Yeah. yeah. I, don't get I me mean, wrong. Like, well. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> Super Metroid. Oh, oh no. Super Metroid 1. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Is not Metal Gear Solid. Because that's in. Is it? Yeah. Metal oh. Gear Solid and Super Metroid. Okay, are two okay. Of the greats. Metal Gear Solid was number one. Okay. Yeah. Whoops. With a bullet. <laughs> Wait, what? Number one with a bullet. Okay. That's what I thought it was. Wanted to confirm. Fall Boy? Yeah. I know you got a complex. I'm going to bullet. You know, Brad. Dun dun. What were the bullets? <laughs> yeah, that's it. You found it. We're done. You cracked it. Thanks for watching, case everybody. Case closed. Cracked the case wide open. I steal one with a bullet. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, no. I. Mm. Mm. Go there, Ben. What do you got, dude? What popped in? No, I don't. I, I can't do it. I can't do it to myself. He's out. Can't. Okay. Wow. Wow. Yeah, that, that restraint. A, that's that was, growth. That was, uh, that was a line I couldn't cross. <laughs> that's... Too much power. Dolphin was going where I was going to go. Where do you... Dolphin. I didn't see oh, it. Oh, pan fried dolphin, sugar, we're going down. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's where I was going. Two, five, six, seven, eight. Wow. Oh, I see. I see. I see. Hands uh, hands. Balls get two deserves some love at the gates of the Hall of Greats. It does. It does, absolutely. It won't win. Not with this group. Not with this group. Not with this group. But Sorry. If, if, if this were a reasonable group of people, it would already be in. Uh-huh. Top-down RPG. You gotta, you, gotta play to your, you gotta play to your audience, though. Disqualified, practically. Yeah. The game I got has a chance. My Sonic is cantankerous. It's good. So run on the old uh, my rider. See, like even chats like bringing pits back. Then the chat never forgets. Chat never forgets. Or MMOs allowed in the Hall of Greats. So yeah, but good luck. Um, okay, then. I think most people would be cool uh, with the MMO <laughs> except right. maybe you. Yeah, yeah, except maybe Kyle. Yeah. Good luck, MMOs. Guys, before Mario multiple 3? people play it. It can't be in. Yeah. My Sonic always chooses brain. It's pretty good. It's so funny. My Sonic is cool, calm, collected. Every question be in the Holy Grace? Sure. Sorry, what's up? Uh, he said EverQuest should be in the Holy Grail. Nah. Okay. There are many games before EverQuest. It's okay I don't, to like EverQuest. I don't certainly. I agree with you there. There are many games probably. Right now there are two games in the Hall of Greats. EverQuest is not in my mind. <laughs> <laughs> there's, not, a, there's a line. Yeah. We're it, not at that line. It's not like the top four games of all time. No, it is not in the top four games.
Did Metal Gear Solid hurt MGS3's chances of getting in there? No. I think it did. I think it, it did hurt it. I, I bet some people's reasoning will be, well, we already have Metal Gear Solid in there. But it is an amazing video game. Yeah. It'll get in there before EverQuest does. Absolutely. It will. Sorry, EverQuest. Could try EverQuest. Sorry, EverQuest. <laughs> Turkish won eight months. My first Gundam's coming next week. Sweet! Ooh. I'm so hungry. <laughs> Kyle. Kyle. Inverted Poor hiccup. Kyle. That was so weird. I oh. think perhaps some of your EverQuest attitude is coming from hunger. Yeah, I'm angry right now. You're taking it out on EverQuest. Yeah. Just keep your stickers with you or something. It's getting in before EverQuest, that's for sure. Oh, my dead body. I mean, it hurt its chances, but it's it's got it before EQ. <laughs> Okie dokie. This doesn't look right. Will Sonic Forces get into the Hollow Grates? Before EverQuest, yes. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I love that, like, EverQuest has secured a spot, <laughs> but it's, like, number 1,000. But it's got it locked. It's got it locked, yeah. It'll, when, when we get to that point, on the last day of Easy Allies, we will induct EverQuest into the Hollow Grace. Oh, that's right. Eventually, Quest. I bet that was a magical time to play MMOs. It was a magical time to play MMOs. I missed it, dude. Didn't have a PC then. People that didn't do it during that time don't understand. Just don't get they it, take man. it for granted. You just don't get this it. internet thing. It's a, it's a miracle. Is there physical hall of greats? Not till we get our studio. The physical hall of greats will be enshrined by Gundams. Dang, we really should. If we ever do have a studio, have a physical hall of greats. That'd be so sick. Oh yeah, the framed box arts. We actually talked about it. That would be. That would be great. Yeah. <clears throat> so you know, we're a couple of years away, but you know, it could be it could be a thing that happens someday. Well, happen this someday. <laughs> Whoa, Brad, dude. Oh, I was getting a heavy sigh. Okay, well, that was a heavy sigh, though, dude. Sometimes you just got a heavy sigh. Okay. To let it all out. Let it all out. Let it on me. Come on, girl, you gotta let it all out! <laughs> oh, God. Whoa. That was, that's Make, dangerous territory. Making up oh. new Steven Tyler songs. <laughs> Come on, girl, you gotta let it all out! <laughs> Whoa. Oh, he's cool. <laughs> he's cool. <laughs> Oh, Brandon wow. Jones! It's going good, dude. Jones. Have you awesome. ever heard the Aerosmith song that goes, Go on, girl, you gotta let it all down! Uh, not that one. That sounds pretty early. Oh, okay. I'm not familiar with that one. You're, 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 you don't know what, what that's from? No. Go on, girl, you gotta let it all out! Yippee, yippee! Whoa, the, <laughs> the Ippy Ippy brought me even further. <laughs> ippy Ippy just wiped the slate clean. <laughs> ippy ippy. Aerosmith used to be my favorite band in the entire world. Right? Whoa! Whoa. No! Yeah. Really? Why do I have to learn though, something dude? bad about you every time we do this stream? Dude looks like a lady hero. It's just the best. <laughs> Don't, Jones is watching Miss Doubtfire, dude, rocking out. <laughs> there's, a, there's a good, good Aerosmith. Train kept rolling. Oh man, there's some Aerosmith song Mon I never. Oh, sounds Mon, like I hate big That's time, it. Dude. That, I didn't know that was an Aerosmith song for so long. Wait, you it doesn't all love sound that like song? Steve Tyler. It doesn't sound like He's him. Very young. Okay. All right. No, that wasn't my point. Yeah. I was just. I there are some bad, bad, bad Aerosmith. Seven never dead. That became extremely popular. Dip, dip, yeah. dip, seven never dead. 
I think there was one lyric. He's like, with my friend Uncle Biff. And I'm like, with my friend Uncle Biff. That was Eat the Rich. Oh, yeah. Otherwise, like, you know, a fun song. Wait, friend Uncle Biff! So hold on. That was your favorite band. What happened? I grew up. Whoa! Got older, you know. That Jeez, happens. Dude. That ha everybody has that band. I think. Like, I, like I, I was not familiar with Led Zeppelin's catalog or the breadth of the Beatles' work. Or sure, sure, sure. You know, really dug into Black Sabbath or. <laughs> I grew up. Then you have bands like like Tool that come along and just kind of like rewrite the rules, and you're like, all right, this shit doesn't quote unquote rock as much as it used to. Jones, this is very funny. Uh, when you walked in, chat says hide your pieces. Because of your puzzle story. Oh, right. That's right. How do you feel about that, man? That's gonna... Well, I say peace plural. Just, well, all you need is one. <laughs> to ruin somebody's day. That's scared. I, I can't scared. believe you. What? The, 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 the great architect of so many trolls over the years. From yeah. GT to Easy Ally. That, like... Not, I mean, if it surprised you, that's one thing. But like, you yeah. seem legitimately, like, offended. Yes. Like, what? Yeah, dude. They're like, here I am just cheekily, like, getting a joke out of, like, hanging out with family or friends. It crosses a line. You're like, that's the line, bro! That's the line, yeah. <laughs> so Something Chad, happened to you, Kyle? If you missed it the last guy, time... The guy was brought on trial, live on Twitch. Jones was, <laughs> would steal it's like, the last three seconds. Yeah. I would steal it and put it in my pocket. If I put it in my pocket and left the house and went away... And like flew to another state or something, that would be stealing the piece. Oh my goodness. I moved it to a location other people couldn't see. He hit it. To create that little bit of tension. Mm -hmm. And you're done with the pot. Oh, we're missing one. Ah. <laughs> practical, tiny practical joke. Oh, that's, that's not too much for joke. Kyle. No. That's, <laughs> that is BM. It's robbing somebody. Jigsaw BM, folks. Yeah. It's a thing. It's real. Damn, even Jones is going in on Kyle today. Jigsaw BM. We've reached our limit. Jones, how you doing though? I'm good. Uh, you like can you Stop give for can you give everyone a preview on cam of unless you're not comfortable being on cam in the what in the my, clothes you're wearing right now in these shorts? Yeah, workout equipment. <laughs> my, my kneecaps? Is, is Twitch not ready for the kneecaps? They're not is ready. It too much. We're gonna the kneecaps too much. We're gonna get fined. Kyle, these do guys. shorts like make you uncomfortable, dude. <laughs> Every time, like if I do like yoga. So we're back, shorts. Is that yeah. Bad? Is that bad? Yoga. In the back? Kids get to bed. If I, if I stretch a little bit. Is that bad? <laughs> Kyle, people, if you want to freak Kyle, just wear shorts, man. Uh, so Jones, uh, Destiny Two. Yeah. If you want to preview the coverage or even like talk about what you saw. It was real quick. We um. You know what was my favorite thing about Destiny 2 from yesterday was just the presentation itself kicked ass. Okay. So I'm sitting down, and just every single time I was like, okay, Bungie, do this next. They did it. I was like, yes. I'm like, I'm like, okay, start the whole thing with the video. Go right into it. No, just, you know, they got the countdown. I'm like, when that countdown finishes, if somebody walks on stage, I'm going to be pissed. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. countdown, lights out, go right in. And not only do they go right in, they go right into the beginning of the game. They go right into Gameplay. what you would want to see. Where like I want to, see, you know, I want to see that tower fall. I want to see like what happened. And then cutscene, which sets up story, sets up all the characters, goes immediately into gameplay. I was like, yes. Which then goes into another cutscene, which then goes into another level. I was just like, wow, this is way more than I thought they'd be showing. Then somebody comes out, okay, does a little bit, doesn't stay on for more than three minutes, and then they roll another video. And it's like, here, I'm going to introduce this thing. I'm going to show you that I'm a person, so you know that people are working at Bungie, that like we're excited about this. And they just kept doing that at regular intervals. So like somebody would come out and talk about how much social, the community of Bungie really meant to them. Like people got married through the game. Like, um, you know, people like uh, met friends and all these fun things happened. So we want to push that further, announcing guided games. And now roll video. And then the video does like a much better job actually laying out the specific details. No ums, no uhs, music, gameplay, like... And they didn't repeat a lot of stuff, like, near the end when they started showing videos, they started to show some really crazy levels and vehicles that they hadn't really focused on, and so it wasn't just like, oh, the same multiplayer map over and over and over again. Um, I mean, yeah, this is, yeah, you can, you, the, the embargo went up last night, I think, for all the footage and stuff, so I'm going to try to get uh, our video up. Cause the only thing I could capture was the campaign. Uh, no, lies. Uh, the, the strike. So we got to play the first level of the campaign, which you saw on the stream, which is weird that we couldn't capture it. I don't know why we can't show that off. Um, 
and uh, PvP, which we could not capture, and the strike, which was super fun. How'd you do in PvP? I did okay. We, we the first, I, I played P PSP, I played PvP on PS4, and then uh, did everything else, and then uh, before I left, was like, oh, I'll do PvP one more time, and I played on PC, and in, in the PS4 match, we were up five to two, and then lost, and then lost, and then lost, and then lost the whole thing. Whoa. And we lost four, four times in a row. Like, we were like, one more win, and we got it, and we lost, like, the next four games. Brutal. Uh, nice. And then, but, but, uh, cleaned house on, uh, the, on PC. Which PC. Got they just had a bad team. But it's fun. They had a new mode called Countdown, which is plant the bomb, uh, protect the bomb. Oh, cash or, or, or you're on the, and it's, they said it was the first time that, uh, they'd done something in Destiny that was, uh, offense, defense. They're like, every, you know, we, we haven't had something that specific. So do you get to plant the bomb? Yeah. So yeah, and you have to pick a spot. Cool. And then you plant it. Can you plant it anywhere? Uh, no. Oh. There's like specific spots. Bomb spots. And you can also win the mode if you just kill everybody. Because if you take oh. someone out, they can be revived by a teammate, but they can't respawn. Okay. So that was kind of fun. Like, trying to, like if, if they went all in and went into a room, they'd just, like, throw down the superpower and then, like, wipe them all out in five seconds. Uh, and the vibes there was good. It was just, uh, it was, I, I was just a lot to show. It was really neat. And it was hilarious going to all of these Judges Week events that were just, like, in some hotel room somewhere. You know, like, some, like, little conference room with, like, one big screen and somebody just laying something out and then going to, like, this, like, Super Bowl-sized event with, like, giant lights and smoke and, like, multiple refreshment areas and, like, a press room and all this crazy shit. Jones. For one game. <laughs> at Judges Week. Yeah. Were you ever embarrassed for a company showing off a game? Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, for sure. Whoa. Oh, yeah. But you know me, I'm very critical of that stuff. Yeah. Like, I'm, uh, there was, yeah, uh, uh, I was actually just talking, because I just, uh, worked out with Sean, I was talking to, to Sean about how some, uh, some companies, someone will come out who's not necessarily, like, the head of the company, they're just like, oh, I'm just the PR guy, or like, oh, I'm just one of the devs, or I'm, you know, the, uh, you know, one of the directors, or one of the, you know, like, I, I've, I've not the tall, the biggest role in this company, just a smaller role. Um, but that person's extremely personable and very fun and, like, understands the, the audience and, like, where their head is at and maybe potentially how much they know about the game. Because some of the stuff I played was pretty obscure and it was always good when people had the attitude. They're like, we understand that you might have never heard of this game before <laughs> or might have never heard of our company. Yeah, yeah. And you didn't really know what we were doing. But then you would get, you know, a couple I went to, they literally, like, the CEO of the company showed up and just made the most boring 10-minute speech I've ever heard in my life. I'm just like, oh, my God. No CEOs. Because you can tell that, like, they're they're passionate about making money and running this business, but, like, <laughs> they're not. You're talking to me about, like, VR and, like, oh, God. Like, we hope this will be a neat, the eSport of the future. It's like, get off the stage. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> just will, be realistic. There you know, are just... no E3 awards going to eSports. You heard it here. <laughs> but it's just, it's just this, like, disconnect. And that sure. disconnect is always so fascinating to me, you know, yeah. like... That it can happen in a small room with just 20 people, you know, waiting to play a game for the first time. And it can also happen in a giant stadium, 500 people all crammed in. And, you know, uh, at the Bethesda press conference, like, waiting for that first quick footage. So I got a question, actually, uh, also about uh, uh, Judges Week. Yeah. Are, like, you all done, or do you judge more during E3? Uh, judges Week is done, but my judge-ing is not. It's just getting started. Okay. So basically what Judges Week is... Is it's just a chance to get ahead of E3. Just kind of prep, like, okay, we're going to show some stuff at E3. Because there's three E3s. There's Judges Week, there's pre-E3, which is, like, they call it Judges Week pre-E3. But pre-E3, to me, is Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So that's, like, when you go into E3 on Tuesday morning, what do you know already? Like, what games have been announced? What have you seen gameplay of? Uh, in the case of Sony, like, I'm doing all my Sony stuff after the press after that press conference. So I'm going to go see the Sony press conference live and then immediately go into, like, a bunch of judges stuff. Cool. Uh, and see a bunch of stuff for the first time. Uh, hopefully play Spider-Man, please, God. So, like, you, um, won't, you won't be here, then? I will not. And that, yeah, I haven't really talked about that on streams and stuff like that. Is that a secret? I, uh, not a secret. I just have, we, you know, we're, we're still a month out from E3. Sure. Uh, I will not be around. <laughs> you will most likely not see me on streams... Uh, that much, if at all, I do not know. But that was definitely a sacrifice I made last year, because there's lots of fun 
Michael Pachter, you know, Webbush, his company has a huge party E3 that every year I've never been. Um, uh, the ESA, who runs E3, they have their own party, which is a great networking opportunity. A bunch of people are going to be there, so, like, miss that. You know, like, basically, every like when I left E3 last year, everyone was like, where are you going? And I'm like, I'm going to go hang out with the Allies and go and talk about all the cool stuff that we saw. And this year, is like, maybe, you know, maybe it would serve the group better if I went and introduced a bunch of people. So it was fun bumping into people at, at the Destiny event that I hadn't seen in a couple of years. And a couple of them were like, what are you doing now? And I was like, ooh, Okay. <laughs> Touche. Wait, what do you mean? I started a Patreon. It's very successful. Oh, I see. The trailer shut down. I don't know if you heard that. <laughs> you know, and, and they haven't. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And they probably have, but it's just like you know, it's. Uh, I had the same kind of conversations with uh, Jeff Gersman and Greg Miller this past week, where it was like, "What are you guys doing?" Because I don't have any time to watch your shit. <laughs> you know, like I watch it every now and then, but it's nice to just kind of get their perspective on successes they've had recently and investments they've made that paid off. So that's I think that's one of the things I most look forward to Judges Week is like seeing Ray Carcillo from EGM, seeing you know fun uh, fun people from other outlets that I don't really get a chance to see, or we'll pass in the hallway at PAX for five seconds like oh hey Ray what's up all right and versus like having lunch with them every day for four days like fun. chatting about stuff. Chance, yeah. thank you for delivering that to us. Yeah. So the tough thing is is a lot of people you expect. Not to, like, lessen expectations, because Judges Week is awesome. And it was, so, like, everything I saw was very exciting. But, like, not as not all of the big crazy announcements that you probably think. It's a lot of, it's a, it's a great opportunity for other companies to realize that, like, maybe, like, an EA or a Sony is, like, not going to really be doing a whole lot. And so they're like, this, let, let's get in. Let's get in a month before E3, show this game off. Because um, I'm having an appointment come up for E3. And they were like, hey, we'd love to schedule you. And I'm like, I'm a judge. I just got done with Judges Week. And they were like, never mind. <laughs> so, like, it's that. It's what you just played. Yeah. And so, like, I already have that. The embargo goes up before E3, so I'll be able to make a video. That will go up before E3. So by the time E3 hits, like, I've covered that game. Like, I, I got that game in my head. So when I actually go to the show, if there's stuff that's only playable at the show, it's not, like, getting in the way of other stuff. So if I have, like, a, a dev that's asking me to be somewhere and I'm like... I may or may not have time to make that. Like, I probably will now because I don't have to check out these. I think, uh, I saw Greg made the count on Twitter. It was like 34 games we saw total. So, uh, those 34 games? Checked. A whole lot of just subscribed. A whole lot of. Nice. Thanks. Ooh, Thank yeah. you. I got a whole lot of. For you. I got a whole lot of. To for do. You. I got a whole lot of. To do. What's, what's the Aerosmith song again? Living on the edge. Joe, I gotta be honest, I cannot remember. <laughs> Shaking it off? I don't know. Let dude. it out? I think there was a baby in there. Baby, let it out? Yeah. Baby, let it out. Yeah, yeah. Uncle Biff. Sound sync, sound sync issues. Of course we have sound sync of issues. We do. Why did I even clap? That was my mistake. Um, a long, long time ago, Wingataku's mentioned seeing Tool live. That's something I'd like to do. Oh, yeah. That's something I'd really like to do. Oh, yeah, but think about all the people you have to be in there with. What does that mean? I, just some people I don't want to jam with, you know? Are, are these everybody. people taking it too seriously? Yeah, it's, everybody. It's, everybody. it's everybody. It's everybody. It's everybody. You don't want to jam with anybody. I don't want to jam with anybody. I jam. <laughs> I jam by myself. I jam by myself. Uh, I jam by myself. I jam by myself. Oh, did we drop the other one to 550? I didn't know that. Oh, because I was, I was just trying to get it closer for chat. Alright. Tool's coming to my area really soon, but tickets are so expensive. I should look into this. I should look into this. I've, I've wanted to see them for years. They're elusive, Tool. Elusive bunch. Elusive band. Right, Ellis? Yes. Band. Uh, Fred Phillips, the man who built EasyAllies.com, yes. once told me that Tool was better than the Beatles. What do you think about that? Damn. Uh, what I, if I told you I completely believe that? Not, I, uh, not even that surprising. I'm not a huge Tool fan, sure. so I don't agree, but that's cool. What do you think, Jones, as a well, fan I, of both? I disagree with that, so <laughs> and I told him as much. <laughs> that was a fun sir, I think you then. are crazy. Sir? Sir? I disagree. Sir, you are wrong. I think that... Musical opinion is offensive. Sir, go think about what you just said to me. Go listen to this Aerosmith album, and we'll talk after. Sir, go play by yourself. <laughs> okay, go do that. XA. I'm getting hungry. Oh, dude. <laughs> oh, dude. 
It's like um, it's like my stomach is making a knuckle. It's like it's like making a fist. Feed me. Yeah. It's like bro. Uh, Feed me. Come. I just want to say for the record, as long as we're live, yeah. So our wonderful community can hear this too. Okay. I thought the last podcast. No offense, Pangas, you were not on it. I thought the last podcast was excellent. Whoa. Whoa. Really Why? enjoyed that. Did you oh, listen to the whole fun thing, dude? Listen to do our podcast. Yeah, sure. Oh, nice. I don't get to listen to it because I'm always on. You're always you know? on it. Yeah. It was oh, really I fun. There was some, like, there was some fun to like laugh it. along and like. There was some heat in it too. Yeah. There was oh some yeah, there was some hot takes. Yeah. yeah. Nice. It was great. Thanks for listening, Jones. Well, that made me happy. We, we got a good show there. Uh, it's live. Live on Fridays oh. for everybody, so you can check that out on you YouTube. That, right? That's empty. That's empty. YouTube.com/slash Easy Allies. If you're curious about the podcast Jones is referring to. You guys called me cape? in the yeah. middle of that. We oh sure did. Goodness. That was weird. Whoa. That was a huge idea, of course. Has anyone in this group built a Gundam with a cape before? Never before. I don't think did. so. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm excited about it. Uh-oh. I like capes. I got a cape. Oh, I like capes. I like capes. Well, it's more Son like a poncho. It's gonna, it goes all the way Son around. Son of a oh, bitch! Oh. Yeah. Very futuristic. Son of a bitch! Oh my god! Jones doing that is one of my favorite things. Yep. That's what got him into JoJo. Hmm. Any thoughts on the new Avatar game made, being made by Ubisoft? I don't think you guys ever discussed it on the podcast. I don't think we did either. Mm, I don't believe we did. Um, I think it's a huge deal. Uh, Which avatar is it? Oh, the, the like James Cameron avatar? Yeah. I think I remember your reaction when we found out about it. Yeah. It was, well, it's weird. It's a... Uh, I actually wrote a Bossman at Home about this that I never actually recorded. Oh, dang. Uh, Scoops. This idea of huge publishers making licensed games uh -huh. is pretty new. Uh -huh. This Because it was right after Square Enix said uh -huh. that you know they're going to put their best teams on the, the, the uh, Avengers games. Uh -huh. uh, and so this idea that Ubisoft would rather put this team on what they think is a surefire hit of Avatar games mm -hmm. is so interesting to me. For sure. Because what had happened was um, Hasbro, this is how I got in, uh, Hasbro was on TV talking about, um, see Rocksteady wasn't Rocksteady before Arkham Asylum though. You can't say that. Rocksteady was not a huge deal when they started making Batman games. Right. Anyway, um, uh, Oh, Hasbro was talking about, like, we had our greatest year ever. We were back on top, baby. We were very successful this year uh, because of Frozen toys. Whoa. And I'm like, whoa, those are licensed toys, though. But honestly, Frozen sells so well. Yeah. That that's Hasbro, who makes My Little Pony, who makes Transformers, who makes Mr. Potato Head, all these things, their best-selling thing... Uh, was Frozen, was Disney Princess toys as well. Yeah. And so I just think that's so interesting that when you think of... I always thought the dream was the My Little Pony, was the Transformers, of making a TV show. The TV show is huge. You make the toys, and those are huge. You get movies, and those are huge. Mm -hmm. But Hasbro is making more money than anything off somebody else's license. Mm -hmm. Disney, man. Yeah. The power. Delay just got worse. Okay. Rick. I don't know, chat. I give up. I give up. We're going back to blurry webcams. We're going back. I can't you do it anymore. You have to go back! Hasbro makes Magic the Gathering. Exactly. They make magic. And somehow, Frozen makes more money. Frozen, dude. Better. So anyway, sorry. Uh, I don't think it's bad that Ubisoft is making an Avatar game. I just think it's something to watch. It's something notable. It's this weird trend that we're going forward. Huh? Ian won't fix it. Ian does not know why this is getting desynced. Wait, he won't fix it? He won't fix it. Nobody knows why it's desyncing. He just like refuses? No, he doesn't know. Nobody knows. Oh, they just don't know. Yeah. Gotcha. I was like, what? Come on, guy. Living on the edge. Living on the edge. Huh. It's 
I read online it's an encoding issue. Uh, I buy it. I buy it. Encoding? I buy it. That's an encoding issue. So what do we do? That would be probably in the Avermedia settings. Capture card. Encoding issue. Just encode better, dude. I'll click the encode button and see if that works. Do any of the allies play magic? I'm gonna guess Ben. I do, yeah. I have nice. a bunch of cards. I used to play. Uh, last year I went to an open magic tournament. Uh, no way, yeah, Ben, really? Seal the sealed tournament. Yeah. How was this a secret? It wasn't. I said it. Did you talk about it on the podcast? No, I don't think I talked about it on the podcast. I think I just mentioned it on a stream. Dang, uh, dude, that's huge. Snake1622 yeah. just subscribed. Thank you so much, Snake. Brand new sub. Um, no, I love, I love magic. Um... I even went into Brandon Jones' office once and wanted to said, "Hey, I want to talk about magic on a video," and it didn't. It just didn't happen. Dang. This was like right at the end of GT. Uh, he said, "I, I got to check the guidelines." <laughs> no, he just said it wasn't a good time for it, which, <laughs> which ended up being very true. He just knew we were all getting fired. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, "Yeah, it's not a good time, Ben." Uh, I have the legs Ooh. on my Gundam. Oh, okay, we need a close-up cam. Hold on, a gold piece fell off. These gold pieces are gonna keep falling off, but it's really freaking me out. Uh, we have no one confirmed besides you and myself for tomorrow's full play. Correct. Through. Probably just gonna be that. Probably. Ben plays blue control. No, I hate blue control. Is my least favorite magic deck. I played uh, white decks a lot. I like white decks. Um, and green, I think. Black and white already is my favorite combination. Black and white. Oh yeah, the mixed deck. Yeah. I usually just played with my brother though, mm -hmm. and he would just make me sweet decks. I like green a lot, too. Blue is, like, the only one I don't like at all. I hate blue. Mm. Uh, so I think this is kind of interesting from Chumblykins, is that you have to spend $1,000 to be competitive in Legacy Magic the Gathering. I love that idea. The, the price of Magic the Gathering is the reason why I don't dig into it harder. Like, it's so Wow, expensive. that's crazy. Yeah. Um. Yeah, here's here's this guy. Let me get this up there. This I love this. Oh, close up cam. Yeah, I, I'm gonna do some. I'm gonna backpack. do some. I'm gonna do some detailing. I think. Okay. You'll get the close up soon, everybody. You yeah. gotta see this backpack. There's nothing more annoying in Magic than when you try to do something and some guy goes. Oh, my counter it. Oh, it's the worst. It's the worst feeling. <laughs> like trap cards? Uh, just like counterspell, for instance. Uh, Echo1069 just subscribed. Thank you so much, Echo. Thanks, Echo. Don't worry about the sirens. It's, it's just usual. It just means somebody's being helped. Just tell me, baby. It just means someone's being helped. <laughs> I, you know what? I remember that from a family circus cartoon. Uh, Jed, 1989. <clears throat> Three 1989. In a row. Fiji Junkie, I listen to Frame Trap in one sitting every time and I'm left with weeks of emptiness. If you listen to Frame Trap in one sitting, you are. Respect. That's. I don't know if I could listen to Frame Trap in one sitting. We live it, man. We do live it. We get breaks. Yeah, we get breaks. Right in the middle. We do? Yeah. I haven't got a break when I've been on there, really. Dang, dude. Last time I was on, we took a break oh. right after What Have You Been Playing? Oh. Yeah, the last couple of have just oh, been running just new... so long that we... Uh, I like the second... Not this last episode, but the one before that, I asked if we should take a break, and the panel's just like, nope, oh. let's just power through. Okay. And so that's yeah, what that's happened where usually there. Yeah. It cost them. It cost them. Fourteen of what? 
Wowst just subscribed. Wowst. Wow, thank you so much for all these new subs, everybody. Yeah, dang. I very appreciate it. We're just building Gundams. What good time this is. Junk Labs, two months in a row. Thanks, Junk Labs. Boop. Boopity boop. Boop, boop. Any thoughts on the new Pirates of the Caribbean movie? Uh, I don't I don't have any eye for it. Yeah. I I, I'd be willing to see it. I'm not, like, super excited or anything about it. I'd watch it, though. But, like... Like, Captain Jack Sparrow mm -hmm. is just played by Johnny Depp. It's just Johnny Depp now? Yeah. yeah. I, Kyle, you're so right. That's what it is. And Johnny Depp turned out to be, like, just a skis ball. Just beating skis up his girlfriend. Ball. Like, so how are we supposed to... his wife? To... I don't know, whatever, it doesn't matter. Was it his wife? I don't know, I thought he was married. Oh, boy. How are we supposed to enjoy that movie now? I don't know. How are we supposed to find Captain Jack Sparrow, like, jovial, when it's like, man, you're Johnny Depp. <laughs> you're a bad guy. You're a bad guy. You're a bad guy, man. Always oh, been a skis ball. You're right. I just wasn't paying attention. <laughs> the world wasn't paying attention. I thought I would be more excited for Alien than I am. Uh oh. Well, I, what's the tomato meter? It's probably fresh, right? I don't know. Probably. Chat. What's the tomato meter? I think I'm still gonna see it. I'm gonna give it a chance. Yeah, I mean, always give it a chance. Find out chance. for yourself, but. But I'm not bursting with excitement for it. For sure. For sure. Bursting for excitement. Haha. Uh -huh. Get it? No, dude. Chest burster? Oh, okay. I hope you don't root for the Bengals this year, then. Oh, we're getting to sports talk. So 72, 76. We got two different numbers. 70s. 70s. It's in the 70s, fresh. Okay. Watchable. I, it's, it's one of those weird things where I care about Alien too much to not see it, but at the same time, there was a line that I read where they said it feels like a greatest hits of Alien, which is not necessarily a bad thing, but it's not what That's I want. That's the impression I got from that. You know what sucks, though, so is you'll think of that line the entire time I know, you watch that I movie. I know, I know. Exactly. I wish I hadn't seen that line. Yeah. The entire time you watch that movie, it's going to be running through. Oh, it's just greatest hits. No. Oh, I think uh, I was right. The way of media blackout is the true way. It's the true way. It allows you to enjoy more things. What are your thoughts on ABC canceling Last Man Standing? Apparently it's a big deal. I don't know. I didn't watch it. I've never right seen now. it. So that's Tim Allen's show. Oh, okay. And it was doing okay in ratings, uh, but got canceled because... So I was listening to radio about this, actually. Learning, learning uh, some new TV stuff, uh, where half of the money for TV shows now comes in the back end. So, like, advertising is, like, 50% of the money, uh -huh. and the rest is the money they make selling it to... Networks or something? No, to Netflix and oh. afterward. Interesting. You know, what happens to your shows after they've aired. Um, and so people are mad they canceled Last Man Standing, but ABC's like, hey, we don't make any back end on that. And so that's kind of why it got canceled. Like, you mean, like, Netflix money? Yeah. Uh, like, Netflix didn't want to buy it? Right. No one wanted to buy it? Those are good-looking arms, dude. No, <gasps> ABC was paying for it. ABC was paying to air it on their network. Oh, I they see. they didn't own it. They didn't make the money. Oh, I see. Back gotcha. Interesting. So that's cool. That's what's happening. Business. Try selecting the sync desktop audio. With I wonder if they'll find another right. buy it or buyer for it then or something. I don't know. Uh, Ebo Show, where are you finding that option? Where do I even go to do that? Advance where? Advance. All troops advance. Yeah, that's not like an option anywhere nearby. 
Nearby, nearby. God, these thumbs are so hard to get in. Do a little, little work. Yeah, do a little use work. Hardware acceleration for video playback. That sounds cool. You can very easily mess up this detail and stuff. Oh, yeah. You can make it look way worse. You gotta be careful. Oh, Aver Media option. Okay. Right, Aver Media. Oops. No. No, 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 no. Isn't Aver Media we used at uh, 